I, I don't think I have a tag. I'm lying. <laughs> Someone says it back to you or says it out loud. Oh, you say it in your own yeah, head. That you is just be like, the worst one. Yeah. Because in your head, it was making sense. But when you hear it back, you're when like, you repeat like, it. Yeah. 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 I know it's like, no, I didn't say it like that. Like, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta address it properly. Oh, when they ask you, why'd you do that? You're like, why did I do that? <laughs> What's the crack? What's the story? It's your and the cameras are going, yeah? yeah. It's your girlfriend's favorite DJ, DJ who's on market. Is that your t- is that your hey, tag? Hey. <laughs> that's, are you not copying? Is that, that like literally copying DJ's it's your girlfriend's voice, big DJ? How do I steal somebody's voice? Not the voice, but your girl's favorite DJ. Uh, so your how, girl. do you, how, how do you do yeah, that? Yeah, well, it's like, that's my tag, bro. Yeah. It's your girlfriend's Hello. favorite DJ, Hello. DJ who's market. Yeah, Keep whenever Jay says that I would know we've started. Oh shit. We did start. Oh, okay. Yeah? Well, what so part are you gonna? Are you gonna? You gonna he's gonna I mean, move some. I've said it lots. So he's gonna move. Yeah, now nah, fuck with you. What's going on? I'll be honest. Oh my God, I'm so honest, you Becky. <laughs> um, what's called? First things first. Uh, we gotta start by we are officially on the Charge It page. That's Charge It, C H A A R G E, I T podcast YouTube. Woo, woo. YouTube. So make sure you go over there. Subscribe. That's where all the episodes are going to be from now on. Like, share, subscribe. Roll to 500 followers. Yeah. yeah. Subscribers. Um, Wait, did actually, you say YouTube? Actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. You nice. actually meant to say like, share, comment, yeah. subscribe. It's also important Wait, what's that you called? comment There's, as well. Who's the guy that comments every week? Uh, Shout actually, out to, I'll find your name. Shout out yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you went on a new page and then commented there as well. Yeah, no, no. I fuck with him. Yeah. Well, how are the boys? How's it going? So you said you've had a hard week. Bro, it's been one of those, oh God, I'm just glad tomorrow's Friday. I get, I'm working from home tomorrow as well, so let's say my weekend pretty much starts from tonight. Are you hiring Because I as will well? do nothing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Toby's employers, you heard him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm just> <laughs> so, who are the employers? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Nakpo? Long time, man. Long time. Well, this has been a long time coming, let's say. Long yeah, over, I guess. Long I overdue, guess. To long overdue to be here. Um, what's the quote? I'm chilling, man. Yeah. Just, you know me, working, vibing. Fresh trim because you know the ladies be watching. <laughs> I actually know this trim was strictly for my piece. Okay. Yo, what? You know, so my piece, my you know He's my mental piece. health. His side piece. Hey, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a side if you don't have a mate. <laughs> exactly. If you don't have a mate, you can have a side. Aqua, I, I was actually really to say this because you've I've heard you say it on if I like if I speak. You said they well they said to you I made the semi final I made the final <laughs> you made the semi final and you didn't yeah. make it to the end and. All fun and game, yeah. But when I heard it, for me, anyways, that time, you know, you were there yourself. Mm-hmm. Planning a wedding and trying to buy a house is like a pressure Chaotic. cooker. Yes, it's yes. like a pressure cooker. You got it done, though. I, Come on now. Yeah, but what I wanted to say to you is credit to you. It's like, okay, sorry. <laughs> you two, you leave the street. Did, did you? Did you? Did you marry? <laughs> so what I want to say is. Having someone there that you can actually talk to that could relate to exactly what you're going through. Mm-hmm. I know for it was actually big for your mental because yeah. who do you talk to about those kind of situations that even the cultural differences of t- you're marrying someone from not from your culture mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. you're trying to buy a house and then you're trying to get married. So when you brought it up on the thing, I was like, I was actually like, thank God I had Akpo because there's moments I was losing my head. I'm like, nah, this is the, too much. The amount of times where quits. like, you would text me and be like, Akpo, where do I do this? <laughs> and I'll do the exact same thing. Like, like, and it would, it would, it would <laughs> easy enough to just be like, let's share information. Exactly, let, exactly. Let's talk. Because when I heard it, I, it, it took me back and I was like, nah, I got to say thank you to this guy because even though I made the final, whatever, you had intentions to, to get yeah, to the end of the yeah. road. For me, selfishly, it was like, yeah, I have another bro that's going there. And mm-hmm. yeah, so. Don't worry. Next year, I'm, get, I'm getting engaged next year, bro. To who? You'll find out. All right, let's say we introduce the podcast. <laughs> Engage next year. Engage next year. Yeah. Let's, this, this guy you know is funny. I claim it's for you. Amen. Mm-hmm. Do you actually want, like, I want to go through all of that? I want to buy a house next year. Okay. That one is guaranteed. Yeah. Unfailingly, I will have a house before I am 30 years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I will also get engaged next year. Those, okay, does the PTSD of like the previous one failing, does that not kind of like, because I know I've heard people say, I can't love like that again. I've put too much into that. I don't want to. You know me better than I'm a lover boy. The minute, the minute I meet the girl that I'm happy with and I fall in love, that's it for me, bro. <laughs> why, is, why is he smiling? Why is he smiling? I don't know why he's smiling. <laughs> what the hell? I was actually just smiling. Is he, is he a lover boy? Is him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed, bro. He's, 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 he's wet, man. I should tell me you as why well. Why do you have to take it extra? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say, bro? <laughs> tell me you as well. You're not a lover boy, but what's your, what's your thing with Igbo girls? <laughs> <laughs> The tweets, <laughs> what, what gimmick is that? Do you like, know, who got your heart? No, no, do, do you know what's funny? Those tweets don't mean anything. Uh, right? Oh, no, 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 no,
Baby Rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, baby Rod in the pit of hell. <laughs> All liars. Eh? Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, let me explain it, right? We were talking in the chat once, me and the lads, didn't it? And we were just talking about like girls and your types. And I was saying like I didn't have any types. Mm. But they were trying to they were saying to me, my types is Igbo girls, according to my track record. Oh, so you only date I'm saying, you only date Igbo girls? No, no, no. I don't only they just coincidentally why majority of them have been Igbo girls. Okay. So that was it. That's actually true. That's what I'm saying. And when you actually look at the curriculum with it. <laughs> ah, that, that's what I'm saying. More. So that's why I was that's why I was just tweeting about like those tweets where I was tweeting out did wasn't directed at anyone. Exactly. Yeah, 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 it wasn't directly yeah, at anyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh actually, of, speaking about types. I actually know he was talking about what you know. Yeah, yeah. Speaking about types, um someone someone tweeted like if you like if your all your celebrity crushes are like what was, it, what was it again? No, yeah, so remember. like, say if you have a girl and yes. your girl looks a certain way, yes. but all your celebrity crushes look nothing like a girl, yes. is your girl really your type? No. I disagree. I wait, let me land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let I me land. I actually yeah. sat down and actually thought about it, right? My celebrity crushes, you, you actually understand. Remember last, not this past Christmas, the Christmas before. <laughs> You remember what I was on? Yeah, we'll not talk about that. Anyways, <laughs> I actually sat down and talked about my, my crushes, right? Yeah. So we're talking Kerry, Kerry Rowland, yeah, Coco okay. Jones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You're starting to understand yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. why you why. Shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but okay, so my thing is, yeah, if you have a crush and you're fantasizing in general, mm-hmm. is it not normal to fantasize for something that's not close to home because that's what you get at home? You you can get you can get one or two random here and there. Yeah. But if all your celebrity crushes are Emma Watson and Emma Watson squared, and you're dating mm, and you're dating mm, a mm, thick mm, black woman, mm, 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 it's not gonna make. Sense. I don't necessarily. Again, I don't agree with that, man. Because you no, know, females have what is it? Is it the same goes for females as well? Yeah, I'll say so, yeah. I don't know, man. No, no. Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Like, okay, like look, look at her now, right? If he goes. Um, Coco Jones. Jones. Again. Don't say Coco Jones. 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 Kelly, Kelly, Kelly Rowland, and and then you go, and then hey. you go, <laughs> and then you go, and Margot Robbie, and you then you go back to your type, and like you know, you can have little deviations yeah, here and yeah, there. Yeah, That's yeah, fine, yeah. Yeah. but if majority of all of your crushes look nothing like your babes, so say your babes are probably Kelly Rowland, yeah. Say your babes is Kelly Rowland, yeah, or Amen. your babes is Coco Jones. I know you like Coco Jones. That's your babes, but I all your her. crushes like Hilary Duff, Sydney Sweeney, all that stuff. Yeah. So you're like saying like, why is your babes Kelly Rowland if your crushes look like Sydney Sweeney and Hilary Duff? Like, how, 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 how come you don't have any crushes that even almost look like look your like babes? Your babe. yeah. yeah. Like, all right, fair enough. Th- no, no, I, I hear that because yeah, because obviously I remember watching Entourage and then there was a guy he was angry at his brother because his brother fucked his wife mm-hmm. and then but it was his twin brother and then he's because so then harry gold has to make a choice to sack one because they obviously they can't work together you, you fucked my wife and then the, the boss is looking at him like really you cheated with a twin the exact same double the exact same kind of right. type said so right. if i was to cheat my wife his wife was a skinny blonde he said i would cheat with a busty with a busty brunette mm-hmm. so he's gonna go he's, he's gonna opposite. deviate yeah, yeah, yeah. from what yeah. he has every day so come when they brought that up i was like would not make sense for your crush to kind of deviate from the norm. That's, that's that actually exists. true. You know when? Never mind. I can't finish that statement. <laughs> no, no, no. This speak, 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 speak. Uh, when, when, when you actually sit down and you think about it, right? Let's say you're dating a girl. She's um, she's your perfect type, right? She's she's got everything you want. For someone like me, she's got a nice bomb. Mm. You know, pretty face. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? For? I can't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just don't know what's funny about it. Pretty face. <laughs> yeah, and like. It, it 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 might be like I can understand why people would then be like you know what I'm tired of eating jollof rice I want to eat yama potato. But w- I get that. Well, is I it, get it. Yeah, yeah. But is it that mad if it's like, yeah, I, you know what? Mm. Is it that mad if all of them just deviate from what you have at home? Is that the thing of like, oh maybe actually your type isn't really your type because that's what you decided to settle down with? I don't I don't agree. I think you should div- like your crush. I understand if your crush is completely different to what you have at home daily. No, I under I, un- I un- it's not that I don't understand it. I yeah. do understand it. Yeah. But. Like if you look at like okay let's say let's say if you look at it numbers wise yeah. and you have a hundred crushes yeah. and ninety five of them look one way oh, okay and your babes look and the then way. your babes looks like part of the one percent what if you like your babes for her heart and not her looks yeah, yeah that's what, fine, but that's fine too but you're super my point your babes isn't your type yeah. yeah do you guys have types you say you don't have a type me I, I don't um, think I, do. I, I don't think I have a type. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say it. Yeah. I'm lying. But, but what is your type? My type? Yeah. My mother might watch this, but you know what? We'll say it anyways. Yash. Okay. Boom, boom. <laughs> Can you introduce the podcast real quick right now? I like a pretty face. I'll say that much. You like a pretty face? Yeah. yeah. He actually does. Toby actually really likes a pretty face. It, it does also helps when the girl has um, boobs. What? That's Toby's type. Let's be real. Should I start calling names? 
Listen. Start calling him. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Anyways, I like a pretty fish. Yeah, Don't yeah, mind yeah. this guy. Yeah. But anyways, let's introduce the pod really mm-hmm. quick. Anyways, we are here. We are charge. Bang bang. This is the podcast with the highest level analysis the culture needs. I'm Daddy J, but you man can call me Jordan, and I'm here with. You know it's your girl's favorite voice, big DJ Nico, the Midas Touch. And who we got here? It's your girl's favorite DJ. Oh, okay. yeah. DJ was- <laughs> <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> That's my time, bro. If you start using that as your time, that's I want 10%. already my time. I want ten percent. That's already my time. It's a good one. Ten percent. That's all I'm saying. Your girl's favorite voice and your girl's favorite DJ. Yeah. Um, yeah. Original. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm Aqua Medena. Um, also, how did your voice get that deep, my brother? What do you mean you have my voice? Can you like explain that? yourself? <laughs> my guy is your girl's favorite voice, big dude. That's the time. Nigga, that ain't how talk. I told we're past this. No, we are not. Every I told we're past this. Guest, I wanted to bring this up, yeah, because I was thinking about it this week, and I think you asked me earlier. Do you guys think your threshold for happiness and contentment is high? Yes. Because I found out like over the last two weeks, I'll get to you and ask you why. Mm-hmm. Mine is actually lower than I thought it was. What do you mean? Like, obviously, I've gone through a big change in my life and life mm-hmm. was a bit hectic for a time. And mentally, I was in a different place. I couldn't grasp it. But over the last two weeks, yeah, I realized once I sleep well and I can get to work out, I'm genuinely a happier person. I'm genuinely feel better. And that's all. And... I know we all say, yes, I, do, I want to leave my nine to five. Yes, mm-hmm. I want to do this full time. Yes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But at the same time, I don't go into work like depressed or mad or sad. Because you have money in your bank account. Uh, uh, do you know that one? So I'm just, <laughs> like, <laughs> true, but then I'm thinking it's like some people, it's like they'll have the job, they'll, they'll have mm-hmm. everything, but then they still chase something else to be happy. Yeah. And I, I got to a point of like, what am I even chasing for happiness at this stage? What is the threshold to make me happy? Mm-hmm. But then this week I kind of deep, I was like, yeah, obviously I don't want, I want to do this full time. I want to leave mm-hmm. my nine to five. Or like the usual rhetoric we've all heard people say with their creative endeavor. But at the same time, like, but my nine to five has also helped me. I don't know if you watched Dave Chappelle Dreamers mm-hmm. when he says, uh, be aware enough to know when you're living inside your dream yeah. and be aware enough, you know, when you're, you're living inside someone else's dream. Mm-hmm. But when, what my nine to five has got, been able to do for me is, I've been able to go to Asia. I've been able to go to America. Mm-hmm. I went to the Garden to watch the Knicks. I've went. To, I saw Chelsea play. As much as I don't want to do it, it's also do allowed you, me to live inside common, my do dreams. You know the common factor of everything you said. What money? But, but, that thing, that but that's the thing. That, what I earn now is that my threshold of happiness. And do you people think that now nah, you need more money to meet your threshold of contentment? Oh right. Okay, that's a different question. I think. For most humans, not I'm not speaking for everybody, but I think for most humans, if you have enough in your bank account that you never have to worry about money, mm. you will be genuinely happy. Like my my saddest moments as have come when I didn't have money in the bank mm. account. You know what I mean? Apart from like being in uni, because you know what uni did to all of us. Yeah, uni, yeah. uni put us through the ringer. But like, yeah, and now yeah. it's just all about in that though if you so some people they will never have that contentment or that happiness as long as they're working at corporate job Mm -hmm. as long as they're working nine to five they will never be like i'm never going to be happy if i'm in this position so they have to leave that because i find myself like they don't they don't work like what i've also realized a lot of people's jobs they don't work what they like doing right Mm. like i've heard deji talk about his job a lot and you can tell like jay just want to be there i'm here purely for the check exactly like but the thing is like like i've been an engineer I've always liked building things since I was a kid, right? So I know I don't build now being a process engineer and I like, you know, write a lot more reports and stuff, but like it's always been an integral part of my life. Mm. I don't know how to do anything else. Yeah. Right? So I am generally, I'm not saying I'm happy in work every day, yeah. but I like my job. Yeah. Does that make sense? And that, yeah. What were you, Toby? Do you feel like your threshold for contentment or happiness? Where do you think it is? Because this week, because I've been, obviously, I've been able to, you asked me about my sleep pattern. Yeah, before how, we're how much recording. sleep are you getting these Now days, I'm getting like 68. How? And I'm, I'm getting, because my, like he sleeps for longer stretches. He wakes up for a feed, but like Simi, because I'm going to work the next day. Yeah. So Simi wakes up and then she handles the feed. And then at, the, at first it was tough because it was like two hours incrementally. And you just, but now that I've been able to get like 68 and I've been able to work out again, I've been able to pod more regularly. I realized like I'm, I'm just, I don't need Again, give me all the money. I I uh, I will accept it. But kind of kind of perspective, innit? I kind of mm-hmm. was like, wow, where I was six weeks, uh, six to eight weeks ago, to where I am like now, mm-hmm. it's like three months. I'm like, I'm just a happier person. It might be understandable. That's what like, sleep does to you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the real question is, what is happiness like? What is happiness to you? Like, what when people say that they're they're chasing happiness? Yeah. What does that mean? 
and I think that's what I was saying to Akbo earlier. I've been able to live inside a lot of my dreams, and those are the moments. And then when I look back at my life, I'm like, I've been happy and I've done things to make me happy. Now happiness for me looks like I'm able to provide for my family. I see my family every day. I even hanging out with you guys. These things make me happy. And I didn't think it would. I think I I always thought like until I am yeah, there, until yeah. I'm well off. I'll ne- and that's the perspective I've came to this week. Just mm. kind of like, wow, doing these little things like being able to sleep, being able to gym, being able to podcast and mm. having a laugh with my friends. Even we're going out on Sunday to the Black Forge Inn. Little things like that genuinely mm. change, like make I me happy. Doing, but what? I'm not your friend. Well, you're not part of the charge. So. <laughs> <laughs> but what about yourself? What What do you guys think would kind of like make you? Or do you guys feel like you're you're happy the way things are now? I'm not happy. Why? Right now, there's a there's like not to get too sensitive on your part, but there's a lot of things that I wanted to have achieved in my it's life. Okay, you can get sensitive. Yeah, this is <laughs> a safe space. <laughs> it's a safe space. Um, there's a lot of things I wanted to have achieved in my life that I just haven't. I actually had this conversation where. When we're um, a group of my boys recently, we we have this group we created on the first of January called the Accountability Group, right? So it's me, Cardo, Kennedy, and Anderson, and it's just a, it's like a safe space we created to like criticize each other and like pick each other off the floor, or to help us to keep to our goals or like the things that we want to achieve over the year. And I was just being honest with them, and I was just like, guys, genuinely, I don't think that I'm happy with where I am. Like, do I make and as much money as I would like. No, do mm. I? I don't own a house. I still have a home. You know, like all of them are in love and apart from Kennedy, all of them are in love and relationships. I envy that. I want. I want. Is that what happiness looks like to you, though? Yes. What yeah. happiness looks like to me is what my parents have. Mm. You know, like having the love of your life. I want to be able to pick up my phone and call my girl whenever I want. I want to go home to my woman. I want to like my like have somebody to call me when they're in trouble. Or, and you know, like, babe, this happened, and I'm able to help them with that. God forbid you can't attain that. God forbid. Mm. Do, will you never then be happy? And I, well, there, there are other ways. Um, <laughs> I thought, I thought this, I this, guy's this guy's gas. Man. This, this guy's gas. No, there are other ways. <laughs> this guy's gas. No, but you if it's something you crave, something. like those other ways will just fill a void. Like uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's what I mean. You feel the void. You never be. I don't think you can ever be truly happy unless you get all the things that will make you genuinely happy. Mm. But I do think like you can fill that void and you can do other things that makes you forget. Mm. You make sense. But eventually, it'll catch up to you. No, it like it catches up to like, everybody. Even with Dej, so sometimes Dej is always talking about how he just puts things on the back burner. He just mm-hmm. puts things on the back burner and he keeps going. But the thing is, like, eventually those things you keep on the back burner, you still have to deal with them and then you have to stop for a bit and then and keep going. And actually process, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like people who are constantly on the move and with work and they have, like, a job, they have a hobby, they have this. They're always on the go. At some point, your body's going to look at you and be like, big man, Yeah, you're not moving for a week. It's, Are you not going nowhere for It's like me? when, I don't know if it was Henri and Steve Barley. He said because he had football, he never had to deal with Henri the person. Mm-hmm. Because he's always like, next week, what's the game? We're playing this game. A, we're playing, we're playing this game. Interview. I have to be Henri. And when that stopped, he's like, yeah, oh shit. Deep I still have to deal, have to deal yeah, yeah, with yeah. Henri the person. That, like, I've told it today, just like, yeah, it's calm. Like, if you're if you're able to put it in the back burner mm-hmm. and keep moving, but at what point you just have to be like, I just got to sort out this closet and actually find what makes me happy. But what about you, uh, Toby? What do you think happiness looks like for you? That's a that's a good question, man. To be honest, I don't actually think about it. I feel like I have a set of goals and and yeah, like I have a set of goals I have for myself from now. Well, not from now, since last year. I said it last year mm. until I turned 30. And I've maybe achieving those would be happiness for me because I have no discontent with my life. Like yeah, I'm happy with yeah. where I am. I'm everything that's going on, like the people around me and everything, and, and I'm doing well in life as well. So I guess if I set those goals, uh, you could say I'll be happy, but then I feel like by the time that comes, I'll be something there's else gonna be that's more. probably going to yeah, be. Yeah, there's yeah. always more. That'll make yeah. me happy, so. I, yeah, isn't that, isn't that the thing? There's also like, it's it's not that I don't have goals or ambition anymore because I said I'm happy. Yeah. It's also acknowledging that like, I'm happy, but I can achieve more. Yeah. And I didn't yeah. think I was here until maybe two weeks ago and then realized I'm actually, I've actually lived in so many of my my well, dream. dream. I've, li- I've yeah. lived in so many moments that I thought. Like you rapped at your wedding, bro. Oh, I did. I did. I, I, t- I put I, a joke. Yeah. yeah. Are you a ha- are you happy or content? Yeah, content. Ooh, is I sounds a content. lot like uh, for me. It sounds a lot like you're content. Yeah, yeah. I'm I content think you're, life. you're mixing. The What's words. the difference? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. What's the difference? You say I'm mixing. For, for me, it, like content is like you. It's it's kind of part of being happy but it's like you're you're like happy it's not like you're ex- like you're not oh, ecstatic yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. it's, it's a base level yeah, oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. it is you're mortgage approved but you haven't bought the house yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I'm like at this base things are good yeah, but yeah. 
Hey, let me leave at nine to five. Let me do this full time. I want to be on the pitch with DJ Drug Boy in Philly. You know, <laughs> Those moments would actually make me happy. I was gonna ask you, um, do you do you feel like you know? Okay, now that you've ticked off the African the African parents, yeah. like life yeah. checklist life, essentially. Life checklist, yeah, yeah. You have the house, you have the kids, kid, you have the marriage, you have the what's called job, degree, you have the job, yeah, yeah, scientist. Yeah, yeah. Come on, like you you ticked it off. Yeah. Do you, did you feel a pressure? get off your shoulders because I remember you were saying the same about Simi like this is the first uh, birthday, birthday she, she felt, felt content because like, oh, yeah. it's kind of like your parents can't really chat to you about anything right now like yeah, yeah. They, all there's, they, no, there's all no marriage they say, talk there's yeah. no where's the kid talk it's like bro <laughs> what say do you guys now. even talk about now oh, that's what it is it's just banter now it's absolutely just shits and giggles at home. Like, obviously, you have a kid, so you're obviously catering to him all the time. Yeah. But for the, the conversation matter, like, she's into the UFC, so we're dissecting. We're making fights. We're saying, oh, I think... She's, she's actually saying to me, she says, I think Alexander Pantoja should headline UFC for sale in 301. Like, this is... Wow. Yeah, this is... She's, she's, she really got into the MMA, so... That's, that's the conversation matter is... And there is a relief on both ends, because once... Especially Africa women, now she's in her 30s. Having a kid, I'm sure it's like... No one can chat to you because going if she was thirty one, still no kids. I don't know if what the, the pressure would be at home, but mm-hmm. I yeah, think yeah, you, you start getting the when are you gonna give my son kids? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, all yeah. my all my friends are grandchildren, yeah. uh, grandparents. I, now. I already get that now. Yeah, see, yeah, I get that as well. Like, there was, like but why are you guys slacking though? Like, show your mouth. <laughs> my kid needs friends. <laughs> like, 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 yeah. <laughs> my youth needs friends. Why are you? It's you, they know. No, actually, genuine <laughs> question. Yeah, what's hard? Like, you want this thing so much and. We can't say it's out of a lack of trying. Why do you feel like you have I just I just genuinely think God there. has a very funny way of teaching me things. I I don't yeah, like you said, it's not from lack of trying. It's not like I haven't been dating or anything. Like I have taken time to myself, although some people might think I've not taken enough time, which is also fair. But I have taken time and I know what I want, mm. right? And I'm refusing to settle for less. So like when I when I when I meet a person like I'm the kind of questions I ask on the first date now are, are pretty crazy. Mm. Like I will ask. Give me an example. Fi- what's your five year plan? Oh Jesus, an interview. Ah, but man, I'm here to drink cocktails. Man. Let's, let's do cocktails and flirt. Can you not can you not say that for the second date? Nope. <laughs> nope. Like, like for me, the thing like I was I like. What's the best answer you've gotten to that question? <laughs> I, I I can't answer that. What's question. the worst answer you've gotten to that question? I took a girl the other day and she worked in not to Zara I love you and she worked in Zara mm. and her five year plan is she wanted to work up to becoming the assistant manager at Zara mm. at that point my brain was she white or black off. she was white Shock. this is years ago now okay yeah but you know but the thing is like some people and you know what sometimes I envy them are just happy with what Look, I've got my yeah. job that I'm cool with, and then I can get my little holiday every year. Yeah. I'm the, I'm the assistant manager. My yeah, life is good. That, but that's, that's not what shift. I want for myself, yeah. though. Oh, like, no, I'm, right. a, I'm a very I'm a very driven person. I'm always looking for the next thing to do. Like outside of my job, I have a lot of other interests. Like taking up managing Toby, for example. Mm. Like I go into managing Yemi. It, Yemi is actually the one who got me into the managing thing, and I, I actually find something I actually like doing. Now, because I'm managing Toby, we're doing a show together, which we'll talk about later. But like that's turned me into a promoter. I'm literally bullying everybody into promoting my event at the moment. <laughs> it's, it's very crazy. If you'd asked me two, three years ago if I was ever going to be a promoter, I'd have told you no. But like I'm always like always. I'm always. I'm. I'm a, bit, a lot like my dad in that way. Mm. My dad is always looking for the next way to bring him more money or to change something. And it's something that I really admire in him. And it's something that I picked up from him. I might have a different way of expressing that, but. It's just, I'm yeah. my father. What I see is, is like, uh, you're one of a few people I've seen like this. You're, are you like trying to find your space within this space that we're in? Like manager, or you're trying to maybe investor, or you're trying to like trying to find your niche also. Because he's not, he's DJ, we're podcasters. Mm. You're also trying to find like, oh, what's my kind of role to play within this thing? That's I, 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 t- I tell everybody all the time, my, my role genuinely is premium supporters club. Mm. I'm, ju- I, I'm just a support system. That's, that's. And I'm happy to stay where I am, apart from doing like the, like, I still really want to do the football podcast, right? Yeah. But like with Godi going, um, he probably have announced it by, by this time anyways, but with Godi going from seasonal to weekly, mm-hmm. that's going to be a, a bit more difficult now. Unless we do the, and I know Toby wants to do the football thing as well. It was my so, idea. Oh, give it already. Dude, this guy is saying it was my idea. <laughs> you will watch it on YouTube. This guy's crazy. It was literally my idea. You but why can't you be a part of it? Why can't it be like a, not like a panel thing where you can change no, it people is, every it is week? Good, week. It's, it is going to be a panel thing and you're going to change people every week. Yeah. But you also understand you how hard it is to plan people. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You also have your set core and mm. you also have to plan people in, which can be very difficult. Like, for example, 
not like you know how hard it was to get to get this going last year. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I was gonna ask you. Yeah, you see the way that you're a lover boy and you speak so highly of your dad. Yes. Did you learn to be a lover boy from your dad? Yes. What was the things he was doing that you learned from him? Like, I'll give you an example. There was a time where I woke up one morning, like the house was really quiet. All my siblings are still asleep, and I go down into the kitchen, right? And do you know what my parents are doing? They're dancing to no music, full on loved up dancing, just looking in each other's eye, all lovely. It's how old were you when this kind of happened? This I was, well, I would say, 15, 16. And then seeing this, you're kind of like, this. Yeah. I, for, when I saw, it, I was like, ask him, what ask him who, who taught him to be a harlot. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the question you should ask him. Yeah, that's the question you should ask him. Because he didn't learn it at home. So, who told your friends? Actually, who, taught you, who taught you the game? Actually, I actually wasn't. Okay, you know, I'll be. We're being honest here, right? So, yes, I have been promiscuous. Am I pronouncing that word right? Promiscuous. Promiscuous, yeah. In my past, um, and that just came from a lack of self understanding. I want to say because it was. Or like, for example, like coming out of the relationship where my ex fiance, mm. the what most guys do is they just get on another body, right? Mm-hmm. I am most guys. I, you know, enjoyed myself. Um, and then I dated somebody else after that. Obviously, I still hadn't healed from the six year relationship. Yeah. And I was hurt, more hurt. So I went and I, you know, got under a few more bodies. But it wasn't until I started doing like therapy, started like working on myself, started writing a little bit, started having more honest conversations with my friends. Like people like Toby, for example, I, I chewed their ear off. Mm. They just had to listen to me talk about how, I be, how I'm upset and sad. And they all just sat there and just like, nigga. they were probably like, the Arsenal matches on that now. So I we've heard. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, was, it was a lot of like, we've yeah. heard is enough and stuff like that. <laughs> but like, it, it took me a while. Genuinely, it took me a while. I don't think I did it the right way all the time. But, um, yeah. I'm don't no, worry, there's I'm no, no such longer, thing as the right no, way. Yeah, the, the, exactly. I was going to say, I've talked about it multiple times on the podcast. Like, I remember going through a breakup after five, six years, mm-hmm. being 19, 20 years old, maybe, and not knowing how to handle my emotions. And you're not yeah. you're not taught. And we don't because we don't talk about girlfriends and boyfriends home, you mm-hmm. can't even tell your mom, oh, my girlfriend just broke up with me. They say, you, say, hey, you should have you been reading your books. That's like the response you'll get at home. So you don't feel mm-hmm. things like, ah, yeah, I'm not going to get a support the system. You get. Yeah, and then you get, like, your boys are the same age as you. So you have, mm-hmm. like, the same level of, like, emotion for the most part. Like, totally. everybody just wants to watch ball and play FIFA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, am I going to talk to these mans about how my heart is breaking? They'll probably just say, stop being a bitch, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I genuinely go like that. I yeah. go a lot of stop being a bitch, just go have sex, da 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 da, da. And obviously, like, I'm, I'm going to listen to the advice I'm getting. So I just yeah. when you listen to the advice I was getting. Because, yeah, when you were talking to me about it, I know Richard said I was a bad person for telling you to try to make it work. But my thing is basically, yeah, he said on Twitter, he said he told me about person because I said try to make it work. My thing was based on the information I was getting, I can only advise you based on that. Mm. And it seems like you've traveled so far within like the house process and the wedding mm. process. Mm. I was just like, are you sure that there's nothing like, that can be done at I, this I, stage? I, I think it was I said that to everybody though. I think, I think for me, going, going that far in the process, yes, we were like mortgage approved, for example. We had paid for the venue. We had gotten like a food vendor, videographer, photographer, all of that was paid for already. But like my genuinely, it was just a thing where both of us were genuinely just, just not happy. Mm. You know, like it was, I didn't want to just force us, force us through the process and now we're married and now we hate each other. Were you guys happy before the engagement and then having to plan a house on the wedding? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It yeah. was the, the, the engagement put a lot of pressure on us. Yeah. Especially like when you think about like family getting involved, mm. having to like learn different cultures, then you're adding a house into that, then you're adding, you know, save for a <laughs> wedding. So like there are days where like, after, you know how everybody gets days where you've been in work and you're exhausted, right? And now you're getting home and they, they won't talk to you about what color should be, what you're going to be wearing. And like you don't want to hear that. No. Yeah. His engagement was one of the funniest things ever though. <laughs> we'll like, talk to you. It was just, bro, that day was so funny. Like thinking back on that day, day, that day when he asked hilarious. that girl, it was one of the funniest days. Like, first of all, they kept us waiting for hours. Mm. And this guy was sitting in the middle of the jacks. And there's a picture of it. I, I know, think, I've seen it. Okay. Seen it. it was all past that. Yeah. And then when it was finally time to do the speech and everything, we were making jokes and we were just laughing in the back. Like, it was just one of the funniest days ever. Yeah, that's why you can't that's make like boys anywhere. One of the funniest engagements I've ever been invited to. I'll say that much. Right? It, was such a, it was such a long process because, like, she was flying in. So, the only way I could surprise her because she, she was such a big part Kept of my life. Kept us fucking waiting, man. You be quiet. <laughs> the only way I could surprise her because she was such a big part of my life was to do when she was not in the country, mm. right? So, she was flying in that day and then there was a storm. 
so her flight thing is just getting delayed, delayed and delayed and delayed. And like the the venue I did it in was so nice, and they like kept the place open for us and stuff. And you know, it it happened. I was stressed out, obviously, but you know. What about you, Toby? Are you a talker as well? As like as a guy, do you as we get older, do you feel more comfortable? Because I realize I'm an emotional person, so I have to express what I'm feeling, mm. what whatever it might be. It might just be about the content game or football match. Like I, I have a football page to tweet about Henzo Fernandez. Like I just have to express <laughs> how I feel no, in I the feel moment. You, I just I have to get you. it out. Like that's how, and then once I get it out, I, I'm genuinely the person I'm like, oh, I actually feel all right, but what about yourself? Yeah, no, I, I would definitely say like at the stage of my life now, I'm definitely much, much better at handling emotions than yeah. I was when I was in college or agreed. when I was like in my teens. Like <laughs> probably. <an> agreed. <laughs> like there was a time when I was going through Adrian, I thought we was high every day. <laughs> <laughs> So I like, hey, 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 it was the funniest, bro. This nigga's eyes was red. Oh, you're at fault. Day. You're at fault. Because you don't niggas break. Do, do you know what's funny? And then do, do you know what's funny about that? I don't even remember that relationship, bro. I don't remember he what was going on. I don't remember the thing. He was so bro. The funniest thing, like we had to, we literally had to be to be zen up, like bro. Come to the sense of broth, bro. Yeah. And it wasn't like I was smoking weed, it was just edibles, bro. Just ed- bro, bro. <laughs> so we had edibles on him every day. How old were you at that stage? It was, it was college years, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every I, I can't remember. Early 20s, day, man. Yeah, but, had edibles as I was day, saying, man. like, I'm I'm much, much mature, and like, I think I, I've gone through enough experience in life mm. that I just handle things better. Like, how I di- handle things now, even maybe getting annoyed or getting angry or even getting upset or something, is, would be way different than how I did it when I was in college. Like, it's just what was the clicking like point? Because does there a moment that you think I'm like, Maybe I don't handle things the best way because I've had that moment where I was like, I've yeah. had to understand like, I maybe I get I let my ego get in the way too much, and I need to yeah. know when my ego's talking to me and what, or it's that's how I actually feel. Did you have a moment like? Oh that? yeah, hundred percent. There's, there's been time I've just deep there. I was like, why the fuck did I do that? Yeah. Or why the fuck did I say that? Yeah. So when someone says it back to you or says it out loud, or you say it in your own head, that, that you're just is be like, the <laughs> worst one. Yeah. Because in your head, it was making sense. When you hear it back, you're when like, you repeat it, like, yeah. I know it's like, no, I didn't say like. like, 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 like they gotta address it properly. Oh, yeah. When they ask you, why did you do that? You're like, why did no, I do that? Why did you do that? Yeah. Why did you do that? And and said, I don't know. I said, no, you must know. <laughs> you must know. You don't know. You did it. <laughs> Even when your parents used to say to you, like, why did I? I don't know. I said, no, you must know because like, you obviously I, did I, it. I was, I was always blessed too because the way we were raised in my house is our parents were very much talkers rather than shouting. And, well, maybe not mom, but dad. my, my dad was very much a talk you through your emotions why mm. did you do that mm. what you did wrong like i used to, like my kind of punishment so i had to write an essay mm. on what i did wrong so you have to that understand is, like yeah. i would have much does that not get... sound rich to you it's <laughs> 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 not like something a rich person would do <laughs> <laughs> so because you're never being these allegations bro you're never being these allegations i'm rich it's not going to be claiming it where's my wallet if you see money inside give me change Fuck off, man. Well, uh, we can get a more conversation, but here on Charger, we do a quiz every week. Oh, no. We have a leaderboard of four people. Oh, yes. The leaderboard at the Pinnacles, Fiona, Jen, Fortune, and Abs. So, got Jen with the eyes. At the top. What? Jen, Jen with the eyes. Jen Jem. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what she is. <laughs> nah, she has nice eyes. Bro. Okay. And what we do is five questions each. You're going to have five questions. You're going to have five questions. You have okay. one lifeline. Okay. Your lifeline is, if I'm asking you a question and you don't know, you can ask Dage. Mm-hmm. And if a Digi is asking you questions, you don't know, you can ask me. Right. I don't know what Digi has asking you, and he doesn't know what I'm going to ask him. Also, when we're asking the other one, and if you know the answer, don't start making noise. And no helping each other as well. I yeah. can't help him. No, you can't. So, who, Akbo, you go first. Okay. Do you want set A or set B for me? Let's do A. Set A, okay. A for Akbo. <laughs> John Jones is the youngest UFC champion of all time. Oh, no. Who is the oldest first-time champion? Oh. I feel like I should know this. Yeah, because I know. I, I told you, I do questions catered to the guests most times. I have so many names in my head. I want to go Nigerian and say Usman, but I know that I don't think that's the right. The oldest first time champion is not. It, it's yeah, not no, no, it's, 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 I want to say. He's Brazilian, it's Glover Teixeira. He won it at 42 years old when he beat. Don't give me a clue. No, it's over. No, he got just, it wrong. I got it wrong. Oh, yeah, who said Usman? Add Vengeance 2001. Who huh? defeated? You watch WWE. It's, the, it's wrestling. Yeah. 2001. Yeah. Do you know what year we're in? Who <laughs> defeated Stone Cold and The Rock 
leaked and became the undis- undisputed. I know WWE. this one. You should know this one. <laughs> who? De- I've read this 2001. You should know this. Who? De- you can't. You can't help him. Who Stone defeated Cold. Stone Cold and The Rock to become the, the undisputed, undisputed WWF champion. world champion? WWF. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, Who's that, Chris Jericho. Bro. Yes, it's Chris ah! Jericho. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe you know. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis co starred in which rom com in 2011? Nigga, how the hell am I going to know this? Seriously? Oh, um, you can't... I actually know this one. I know this one as well. I'm losing my lifeline. What's yeah. with Friends with Benefits? Yes. yes. <laughs> Friends with Benefits. <laughs> Bango. This guy is out. Why did I watch such No, let's be That's a great movie, bro. It's a very good movie. Sorry. Yeah, it's right. it is very. You know, good. you know they don't make movies like those anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think the, they actually did one recently and it did very well. Sydney Sweeney, if you watch Euphoria, no, she did it with some guy and apparently they played into their chemistry they on screen, uh, but they both had like partners off screen, so people uh, started like uh, okay. getting suspicious and down. They don't make rom coms anymore. Everything yeah. is just comic book movies. Comic because yes, that's easier to sell movies. to China. There's no storyline for them to follow. You know, good guy, bad guy, uh, bad well, guy, good guy, fight. Yeah, <laughs> Whereas rom com, there's a bit of like nuance and storylines yeah, yeah, and, and stuff. And also, those superhero movies do well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one billion. Yeah. So I've gotten one out of three. Yeah, one out of three. Mad. How many presidents? Have Nigeria had in their history? Jeez, I how in the world would anybody <laughs> yeah. know that question? Are you not Nigerian? Barely. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know, bro. Bola Tinodu, what do you want to say? Like, and Bola Tinodu is our current president, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, you give up? Or do you want to guess? 12. See, I should close 16. I was actually going to say no! Because Tinodu is the 16th and current president Mad, of Nigeria. Nice, nice. Last question. Questions for me and reckless are songs by which Irish artist? Questions. Questions for me and reckless are songs by which Irish artist? Travis. Nah. No, it's Tell Vida Boy. I've never, I've never listened to him in my life. Yeah, so I can't yeah. help you there, bro. Right, that's one out of, definitely one out of five. One out of five, you definitely did make the leader. Well, you can still get... Did you want to go Akbo first or want to yeah, go I'll, I'll first? Yeah, I'll go Akbo first. Right, Jeff. Oh, no. And Those are hard questions, Jordan. He, he would have got three. He would have got friends with benefits of WWE. I've never, like, I've never, I don't know what those are. And Ashton Kutcher, yeah, he's saying he would have got, <laughs> yeah. got three. Um, what's it called? Who's known as the Queen of, who's known as the Queen of Soul? Queen of Soul? Yeah. Oh, I actually know Nah, this. I think I was, I'm thinking Queen of r and on my... The only queen I know is Beyonce. This guy's gas. Let me take a moment. Queen of Soul. She she's dead, right? She died. And she died of an overdose. You can't give me okay, that. Let me She was friends with Michael Jackson. Hmm? I don't um, know the name. I, 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 I give up. You said you knew it. I read the Franklin. No, actually, no. It was that? Mary J. Blige. I thought it was called R&B. I thought of Mary J. Blige, yeah, but I thought it was R&B. Yeah, Mary J. Blige. The yeah. Queen of Soul. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. I would have never guessed that. Well, apparently it is. Um, what's called? Who is the founder of the record label Def Jam Records? Bro, the Queen of Soul is Aretha Franklin. What are you on about? This is what, this I is actually, what I just told Google. me. No. Even yeah, I knew it. Yeah, that. it's Aretha Franklin. Bro, even Google is telling me it's Aretha Either Franklin. Either way, you're wrong. Yes. Google's wrong? No, no. no he's yeah, wrong. I'm wrong. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. What's the question? Yeah, what's called? Who's the founder of the record label Def Jam Records? Def Jam Records. Yeah, who's the, who's the founder? I have two names. I was, I was going to say Doctor Dre. That's Death Row, bro. Come that's, on. Well, that's you death. can't give no, it to. What's your answer, bro? Let me give me a second name now. Def Jam. It's not definitely not PDD because it's in the news right now. Um, I actually have no clue. Um, you can use your lifeline. I, I think I know. It's between two people. You know what, Jordan? Give the shot, bro. Dame Dash? No. Jay-Z? <laughs> no, Russell oh. Simmons. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I saw wow. something about him. Oh, I thought it was Dame. Nah, it wasn't, man. Uh, what's called? What is the hardest natural substance on Earth? Jesus. These are hard questions. What, what, does that punish you people? What, <laughs> what's going on there? I'm fighting. <laughs> he's, he's killing you, man. I had a substance in the air. Yeah. Um, carbon fiber? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you say carbon fiber? What was it? Diamond? Vibranium! Yeah. Diamond. It's diamond, bro. Yeah. Diamond, yeah. 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 Diamond. Diamond, What's yeah. That's three. Um, what is the birthplace of hip-hop? Country or? No, yeah, I want, if it's country, I, I, I got that one right I, now. I, I, United I want, States of America. I, 
if you say so, I need, it needs, it's specific, but not crazy specific. What? I actually know this crazy specific. But like it's of hip hop. Yeah. It could easily, it could be New York, it could be Atlanta, it could be anywhere. What's the answer? What's the answer, bro? Birthplace of hip hop. New York? Yeah. I uh, have to give you it to, to him. Oh, okay. Oh, it's high it's hard to get. It's the Bronx. It's no? actually Bronx. Yeah, oh. it's the Bronx. But okay, you have yeah, to give it. It's still New York. Okay. Yeah. And what's it called? Uh, what is the freezing point of water in Celsius? This is easy. Is it? Yeah. I don't know this one. I might say it. What is the freezing point of water? What is the freezing point of water? At what degrees the water become ice? If there's a minus? I don't know. What's your answer, bro? <laughs> I'm going to have to cut you down. Minus 16? No. No, zero. Zero. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> what's called? Two. He got two. I got two. You got two. You're not making a leaderboard. And what did you get from you? One. I got so one. Three. Three. No. You're the bottom of the leaderboard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was making the leaderboard. No, 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 no. You're no. the bottom of the leaderboard. No, I, no, I, 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 I got two. Out of ten. I only yeah. got one of yours. I only got yeah, one of yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it's even worse. You should have collected the tree, bro. <laughs> no, we don't lie around here. We're Toby, very honest people. Your turn. All right. Five questions. Be easy on me, bro. Pause. No, no, no. If I know the answers, I'm answering them. Because the I'm famous them fight, Rumble in the Jungle, took place in what country? Congo. Correct. If you had failed that, I'd have beaten you. <laughs> Run this town, dead of auto tune, and on to the next one are songs from what Jay Z album? Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say for by what artist. I was going to say B for real. Oh, damn it. I don't know it. Uh, Blueprint Tree. Blueprint. That was it. Named, you like wrestlers as well, name the two wrestlers tied with the most world championships. Say that again? Name the two wrestlers with a record tied with the most world oh, championships. Oh, relax, fella. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Ric Flair and John Cena. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Henri came runner up to who in the 2003 Ballon d'Or? Oh, who was that shit guy that won it? Yep. Oh, <laughs> that's, geez, fine, that's funny because I can't remember his name. Yep. It's not shit for like this. It wasn't shit for. He's touching him. <laughs> I'm not skipping anything. Oh. It wasn't shit for. Oh, <laughs> it was not shit. I can't remember his name. Pavel Nedved. Yeah, that guy. You see, nobody <laughs> knows him. Like, <laughs> I would have never got that. Pavel Nedved won it. It's not shit guy like this one. Who is the only Congolese person to win a Black and Irish award? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Jordan Mindomba. <laughs> what are you, you shouting? <laughs> ah, that's what. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've only been to. Is it not just one? No, I've been to two awards. What are you shouting? Who is it? I haven't. Uh, Congolese person. <laughs> Why are you looking at Sam? <laughs> Wait, would it be who I'm taking? Answer the question. Answer bro. the question. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a guess because I, I don't know. Actually, I don't think he's won it. Oh, these person. You know, Answer see? the question. Oh, I, I'm, I'm telling you, don't, bro. Yeah. Okay, don't go. No, it's me. You're the the year. Year. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Podcast of the year, 2023. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. I, just, I said it. Oh, no. <laughs> so he, he literally said it to you. Listen, it's three out of five. Tell, it's three out of look, five. I'll take three out of five. Man. Go on, don't worry. Well, you still have questions no. from Dave. You might mm-hmm. get on the leaderboard. Let's go. Let's go. Because if post. you get three, you beat the last one. Abs gets off the leaderboard. Um, what is the capital of of Australia? Somebody asked me just the other day. I know this one. I can help you. Lifeline. Wait, wait. I don't know. What? That's you. I can, that's you good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me use my life. Canberra. Yeah, you're right. There we go. Well, so does that mean I get one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right, one. So that's cool. We have no more life left. Right. Um, who is often referred to as the father of hip hop fashion? Hip hop fashion. Fashion? fashion? Mm-hmm. What? Did you? What are these questions? <laughs> hip hop fashion? Hip-hop. Yeah. Is it Kanye? No. No. Andre Trike? No, Dapper Dan. I don't even know what that no, is. No, oh, he's a guy, he's a guy that he, he lived in New York and he used to take, he used to take Gucci stuff, he'd rip it apart and then he'd make clothes and all that kind of shit. And all the rappers never went to him. Anyways, um, what's called? That's one out of two. Who's the first man to walk on the moon? Neil Armstrong. All right. What's called? What's the square root of 144? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the square root of 144 is. <laughs> Guess. One. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Okay, 12. 12. Oh, 12! What is wrong with me, man? <laughs> I'm stupid, man. What's called? Cool. Right. Pressure those funny know. things, man. Last one is what's the tallest mammal in the world? Tallest mammal. Tallest mammal. Tallest mammal in the world. Does this include Nick? <laughs> You're hey, you. Yeah, that's the hell of it. <laughs> 
Yeah, does it include neck? <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, I'm really in, hey you. Um, yeah, I'll go with draw. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You, should, you, you should be giving. You should be giving hits. So you got one. You got six. Two, seven? You got three for me. Three for me. Six. 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 That means you're tied with fortune. Igbo on the leaderboard. Oh my God. Is, is, is he second? Is he third? Third. Yeah, you guys yeah. are tight third. You're tight third. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I like to do a segment on this podcast. We like to call it Jordan's Charger. Mm-hmm. Things that happened this week were charging. To, so people got to charge to the game. Big Bill and P Diddy. <laughs> no, what you guys, why did you have to say it like that? Charger. What do you guys make of this whole debacle with uh, Fam, PDD? PDD yeah. is a wild boy, apparently. <laughs> what? If you hear it often enough, yeah, there has There's got to be an element of truth to it. Mm-hmm. Or de- let's play. Let's play the adverse aspect here. Because he settled so quick and was willing to give Cassie money. Do you know how America says we don't negotiate with terrorists? Mm-hmm. Because once you negotiate with one, another one would be like, wait. They negotiate with you, let me to get my own. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna see more people coming out because if he had said no, I'm taking this trial, and perhaps won't, people would have been like, ah, it's nah. not. Or this there's, one is like, yeah, there's nah. a pattern now, man. Nah. I'm, I don't like Mickey's isn't helping things, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not helping things at all. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. So are we are we talking about all the are we just talking about the him beating men or are we talking about the rest of it? <laughs> the, the, everything together, like PDD, this he's got a charges to the game because there's no escaping anymore. Like, there's actually too many allegations. But at this one, I, I remember I watched the whole thing about it where he is using his power to essentially get men, especially men, to do what they want. Mm-hmm. And even that one is Mick Mill is in the pool. Those videos, then she's coming out. He's calling Mick Mill daddy, which people are saying, which makes him He's calling people daddy regularly. <laughs> what's going on? What's <laughs> funny? Yes, I'm being serious. Yes, he called, who is it? And it was, it was fabulous on uh, Drink Champs. He's like, oh, why don't you party with me, daddy? Like, he'd be calling people daddy regularly, like... Nah, he looks like a freak, though. Like, <laughs> how's a freak look like? Because yeah. Absol Mia looks yeah. like a freak. What does a freak you do. look like, Toby? No, I mean, like, when I say he looks like a freak, I mean by his actions, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah are you yeah, also yeah. a freak? We're talking about PDD and me. This guy is question. talking to me about Maya, so freak. Get, your, also hands, freak get your hands off me, man. <laughs> nah, but yeah, look, man, it's wild, like, because... The thing is, like we've been hearing, there's always been rumors about uh, Diddy and everything. Yeah. It's just the same one apparently as well as Trey Songs. Yeah, apparently his dog is going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. God, he just doesn't maybe have as much as power as influence mm-hmm. as PDD. But like, it's remember it was like R. Kelly when we kept hearing things about him for ages. And I remember being 15 hearing about R. Kelly peeing mm-hmm. on people. What's going And all the sudden, it's in the bulldogs. <laughs> and then you get to like 28, and like, yeah, no, get get about it here. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. No, that's that's much. Look, to be honest, I don't really care. About that situation because I've never been big big fans of those people. Okay. If if I now start hearing J Cole Dada <laughs> or my yeah, young Jay Z Dada. But you know that what there's, there's people that like yeah if they really are a fan of an, like of the person it will like say like me, Michael bro. Jackson yeah some people fucked with him so heavy that all those allegations they were like nah they lied because they don't want to mm-hmm. accept it they accept it because the art was the music was so good like if mm-hmm. I accept this which means I have to stop listening to the music whereas we're like people do R Kelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, when's the last time you heard the Ignition remix anyway? I don't know. Kelly's stuff is still on Spotify, man. It still gets listened. Does it? 100% he still gets listened, man. What are you what, talking about? Were there people like out, out there protesting for him and that? Yeah. Like women and, women and stuff. But it's it's fucked. Yeah, it's still somebody. Yeah, yeah. Nah. This world is fucked, man. Nah, but Diddy's nah. dodgy, though. Like, I mean, even in the in- industry, like, Diddy's done, uh, Diddy's done some... Me- I believe, like, everything that's happening to him now is just the consequences of his actions from everything he's doing, man. I, I feel like, like every, if you do something bad in this world, it doesn't matter how long it's going to take, it's all going to come back to you and it's going to mm-hmm. bite you in the ass. And I feel like that's what's happening to the blog now. You know what? When people say that, yeah, bad things happen regardless. Why is it because I did something bad? Something bad is going to happen. So, something bad was that's always going to happen. Bro. No, I, I don't think I, so. You know, I actually don't agree because Lewis Hamilton got screwed out of the 2021 Formula 1 World <laughs> Championship and Max Verstappen went on to become a three-time world champion. Don't talk to me about... Rubbish is coming back. No, it'll get back to him eventually. No, it will yeah, not. The thing is, it's like, 40 next year. I, I, you know what it is. I think, I think people can't sit with the fact that, like, you know, when they always say, "Oh, uh, bad things happen to bad people" and all that, and he's gonna get his bad things were gonna happen regardless. Mm-hmm. But you have to feel like he's gonna get his back. That's why I feel content with what happened to me, or that's why I can sleep with what happened to me. So it's yeah. a coping mechanism. I think it's a coping mechanism more than like, anything yeah, else. If you because fuck me over, come I don't have real, to bro. fuck you over. Yeah, yeah come on. I, come I, I, I disagree with that. I, I very much. Some of the come most real. horrible people will have yeah. fantastic lives. Fantastic lives. That's fine. Bro. Mm-hmm. Like look at look at the electric providers. Look how much you're charging us. This guy's gas. They are fucking rich as shit. This guy's gas. How do we get here? Look how much you charge us for gas. What's this guy talking about? Are they living their lives? But I think the thing is, those people that do bad, yeah. Even if they're living fantastic lives on the surface, I think inside, 
I don't know. Like, then again, there is soci- so sociopaths, psychopaths. Because I just finished Sopranos, yeah? He was living the, the American dream. Don't really think but, about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. But the American dream came with a cost that he was never, he never had internal peace. Mm-hmm. So on the surface, you're looking at this guy, big house, family, mm-hmm. he drives, does whatever, owns a business. But every day he's living in paranoia and insecurity. So yeah, is he really but, living a good life? But the, th- but the thing is like that, that is coming from the danger as opposed to the life. Like, okay, like let's say, let's, let's go Steve Jobs here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Before he died, like... Is that still recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go Steve Jobs or like a... Let's even say Tim Cook. Yeah. Um, head of Apple. And now if you go all the way down to the bottom of the of the, of the food chain, mm. it's what's called, it's what's happening in Congo and everything mm-hmm. like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you really think I'm not happy with my yacht and my life and everything because that's happening? Mm. Very true. For, for the most part, like if you are far away, removed away from it... But that's, a, that's, a th- that's another argument to Toby's point. But if you are directly... Influence in it? Do you think then that's when it, it has the influence? Or bro, do you think I, as, I, as far I 100%, as hundred percent, I hundred percent believe in karma, bro. Because you, like you said, Steve Jobs, maybe when he was alive, he was balling and he knew about this kind of stuff. And I'm not saying he did all because me, I don't know. I don't know if Steve Jobs had anything to do with it or not. But let's say he did. We don't know where Steve Jobs is. He could be cooking right now. We don't know that. I one hundred percent believe in karma, bro. You treat people good, you treat people bad. It's gonna come back to you either way. Does that, it that's what I the girl's heart you've broken, Toby. Listen, Jesus Toby, I, mean, I don't think Toby's ever broken a girl's heart. I appreciate that, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> this guy <laughs> likes to throw me under the bus for He's allegations that have never been proven. <laughs> but no, but I get that. I don't know. That's what we, that, that's why we come. I've always looked at it like, like, because the thing is, if I lived, if I've lived a life and I was great to everybody, bad things will still happen to me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because even Jesus got crucified. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I feel like bad, bad things happen regardless. I, I agree. I, it, it is, it but is I, I, a perspective I do believe thing, karma, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I, I feel like I shit happens, man. Mm-hmm. And no, because of that, are you cautious of how you treat people because you believe in karma, or are you cautious of how you treat people because you should just not treat people? Like, I'm in two minds. I, I do believe, like, do good and the universe will reward you. But at the same time, I get what DJ is saying is like, regardless of what I do, the world is a fucked up place. Like, mm-hmm. there's in America, for example, there's kids that probably don't know good from bad. One guy, one, one day, one of the shooters comes in and does whatever he does. Yeah. There's nothing that they could have. What's their karma in all yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Are we go, are we then gonna be like saying no? It's because their parent did. Like you know, like yeah, yeah, when yeah. does it stop? So I, I I get it in both sides. But for me, anyways, I'm like, do you do good because you think good will come back to you, or do you do good just because you're like that's the right thing to do? I just try not to do bad. Hmm. And when you do bad, like. Do you, do you oh yeah oh, like this is life like no yeah. nobody's gonna leave a clean slate like yeah. everybody's done dirty man but i just i always try to be a better person in my opinion child because like i said i do believe in karma man and and does <clears throat> does it change with intentionality like like you said is there a difference between i'm doing good because i just genuinely feel like you should treat people good and maybe you get treated or like you should just treat people good or than the person that is like oh i feel like i should treat people good because if i treat people good good is going to come back to me is there a difference no because I don't guess, I guess the, like, we watch football. If you score a tap and you score a screamer, you score the goal. Like, mm-hmm. if you do good, for whatever reason you do good, it doesn't really matter as long as you're doing you're good doing to, good, to yeah. do war. Yeah. Like, if I score, if Chelsea are in the final, they, they fucking finish the fucking goals. And, then, <laughs> and they, score, if fucking, they score a tap in or they score a winner. As long as we have that trophy, it don't really, the outcome, the result is the same. Like, the, mm-hmm. outcome, the process, most of the time doesn't matter. Now, I get it. Some people want to play like Pep. And then want to do it that way, but at the, at the end of the day, if you're winning or you're doing good, I don't really think yeah. you have motivation. Like, like look matters. at the Uruguay. And, was it the Uruguay and Ghana? And Ghana. Match? Yeah. Like everybody was so upset at Suarez. He did what he did. Got his red. His country still went through though. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Um, what's called you, you? Oh, I was doing part time daddy. Part time daddy this weekend, bro. Part time daddy. <laughs> That's yeah. why I do full time daddy. Relax, Jordan. <laughs> Fa- my kid needs friends. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan got married, yeah. My kid needs friends. And he's just oppressing us. He's, Jordan got married and he started pressing everybody to get married. Because Jordan had a kid, now he's pressing everybody to have a kid. My kid needs friends. Do you know, do you know what thing I'm actually grateful for? That me and Jordan, are like, we're still, we're still boys, but like, I'm not part of Jordan's In circle. Circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, he, can't, he can't text me on the mad one talking about when are you going to get married because he knows I'll just. I'll, you know, start, I'll start doing that. Now. What, based on what you were saying off mic, I might start soon to be like, yo, bro. And you didn't say by next year you want to be leaving the streets. But yeah, sorry. Fam, I'll, I'll put the time around for you. you know. <laughs> how was the, how was the weekend anyways? Yeah, oh, part time daddy is what's called. Um, I went to go uh, babysit my my niece, and my nephew. So mm-hmm. like it was just awesome. We just you know just chilling. It's funny how kids have no sense of money or anything. They just say I want to do this and I want to do it. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you're thinking like your life is just fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. My, no bills. My my nephew yeah. 
He comes home, one girl in class gave him gave him a late Valentine's Day gift. She gave him a little teddy bear with with a letter inside, with like a whatever letter inside. And I'm like, oh, little man's got game, shit like that. My, my, also, my nephew's a little lover boy as well. Mm. Like when he was young, if a guy, if a man tries to carry him, he starts crying. If it's a babe now, all of a sudden he's smiling, he's grabbing colors, he's doing everything. But yeah, so he she gets she gets him that now, and he's like, oh, I want to get something for her. He wants to, he's like, oh, I want to go get something for her. So I was like, yeah, cool. We'll go to the shop. We'll grab something. My bro, he's becoming a little lover boy. He's like, oh, she loves, she loves, um, she loves dogs. So we went to Smith's and he just comes over and picks us like this. Are you gonna teach him game? It. Yeah, what's going? We got, we got, we got, we got, we got her the things, man. Because we had no uncle. <laughs> season, like the only thing uncle Caesar was exclusive was to go to as many as women as possible. What kind of game is that, bro? They said you can't. Sorry, what was that? Our uncles. They would just tell you like, yeah, get get as many girls, man. That's what men uh, are supposed no, to do. I wouldn't even. I didn't have none of that. I was winging it like. Yeah. At the time, though, <laughs> I remember vividly. I was at my mate's guy from one of his uncles was actually even telling us like. Even if you have a girl and another girl wants to smash and you're not on it, that girl will think less of you. So you have to conquer and <laughs> take it And I was looking at him, I was like, you know your niece is my girlfriend, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you really should be saying this to me right now. Mm-hmm. But how was Manchester anyways for the weekend? Yeah, it was cool. Like, what's called? Um, did the whole school routine. Like, it was, it was actually sick. Like, yeah. I actually really enjoy taking care of kids, man. Like, it's sick. I, I'm not yeah, ready I'm for kids. Enjoy, for... Have yours, bro. <laughs> Relax. See, the thing about it, yeah, is I feel like the enjoyment comes from the fact that I know that then if I get tired, back. I can go. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's cool for a day, but on a random Monday when I don't want to get out of bed yeah. and this kid is shouting in my ear. Yeah. And also, you know what it is? To be fair, my, my sister's kids are very, they're very independent. Like How old are they now? Um, Six and, f- no, seven and five. You know, sometimes I'm like, I can't wait for that stage. But then I'm like, now nah, I'll be 36, 35. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chris, Chris Rock has a joke about the pandemic. And he said, like, oh, the pandemic was so annoying for him because he wasted two years of getting a boner. Because he's getting older. So by the time the streets open back up again, he's like, two years are gone. And I think about it, I was like, yeah, that's just six years of, like, life and sex drive. I'm just wasting something. Like, at the same time, I'm like, I want to get to sit and sleep uh, regularly mm. But I don't really want to get older either I have something to church to the game I lost my wedding ring lads Again? No again First time oh, You lost it before In the house the But this time yeah You lost it lost it I lost it at work Because I was fucking Oh god I was gowning up I, I work as a uh, I work in manufacturing I work in the pharmaceutical industry So when you're going into The manufacturing plant Where they make the flipping drugs You have to gown up And wear all these Blue doctor clothes So I had the ring on I never take it off at work And your man is like Oh you know You're not supposed to have jewellery In these ends You're supposed to Take the jewelry off. I t- like I, I took it off, and you have like an inside pocket. Like, mm-hmm. If it's actually within the band, I was like, "Grand, so put it in the band." I put it in. Like you, you work around with jewelry all day. You don't really take jewelry off. So yeah. if you take it off, you don't remember pay it. Think remember it, to yeah, t- yeah. pay attention to it. I'm at home. I'm about to leave now. The next day, I'm like, "What the fuck is my ring?" Then I deeped it. I was like, "Oh." Duh, I had to say to I had to say to Simi, I was like, "I have to confess." <laughs> <laughs> Wedding ring is gone. But what about you guys? How's your week? What are you wait, wait. <laughs> your neck is still on your body. My what? My neck? Your neck is still connected to your head. <laughs> she didn't take it. Didn't take it. <laughs> because I came clean in it. I didn't. I didn't get found out. I was like, yeah. yeah I just, was like, she I just have to say, have to say it. before she knows. Yeah, it. I sent an email. I was like, any luck with this ring that I found? I was like, nah. So I have to. How are you gonna replace it now? So I actually liked the ring as well. It was like gold and silver, and he had like her name on the inside. And I, I can like, get a bust on one now. Is you guys have is, 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 is the podcast fade? Is the podcast fade like that? No, I, I just, I mean, I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace with something similar. Like, I did like that one. And it wasn't like where we got it. We got it in Germany because wedding rings in Ireland are mm-hmm. expensive. Yeah, for no reason. Everything in Ireland is expensive. Lo- are they a lot cheaper in Germany? Where we got it from, we got two custom made for the price. We would have got one each. Damn. Oh, wow. Okay. I know, yeah. I know I'm buying my yeah. wedding ring from there. I think because my mom was like, was saying that she had friends that went to get hers in like Belgium and they got yeah. it for like, Recent price. Could you, could you, do you mind sending me the um, name of the place? Baba, go and get Baba, the girlfriend can you for please us. Do it. Go go ready. <laughs> then you go and ask for like, it. I'm now. just preparing that <laughs> as in advance. Do you know how you're gonna propose next time? Yes. Oh, already. All right. Okay. But <laughs> no, bro, you're really on this marriage thing, bro. I am. Uh, Toby, why are you charging to the game? This Wait one week? second. Why do you know how you're gonna propose the next time? Huh? I can't answer that. Wait. Question. What? What if your babes? Doesn't like your proposal. That's what I'm saying. Don't you have to read the? Don't yeah, you have to read like, the girlfriend first and well, like, know what she likes? Not based on the person. Ah, fair enough. You know what? But there's some proposals. Like I guess if she was, a, if she was like a private one, there's loads of templates that are just cash money. 
like balloon. Like, you know what Snow did? Yeah. Snow. That's cash money every single day. Like, yeah. if you want a private yeah. one, I don't think you can go wrong with any, like, 90% of girls. If you want, like, if she, wants to, mm-hmm. if she tells you, I want a private engagement, mm-hmm. 90% of the time, if you do low on the beach, beach, like, come on, that's like, like, come on. You know, you, you know, it's I hear, cash money. Yeah. But what, enough, okay, but what if then she wants, she wants all of her family around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's of those things. Yeah, like, low key, I, that's what I kind of did the first time, right? So, I don't know if. Unless she expressly says that's what she wants, I don't think I would ever go down that route again. Yeah. Oh, is that, is that okay? Yeah. But yeah, I wanted to. You guys have anything that happened this week that you want to cherish it again before we get into talking about the event? Christian Horner is a horny little boy, isn't he? What he do? Um, he, he got reported by one of his employees for like um, being inappropriate. Who, ex- he, explain who Christian Horner is for people that are listening. I don't actually know who that is. Christian Horner is the pr- team principal for Red Bull Racing in Formula mm-hmm. One. Mm-hmm. Um, he was the principal person behind Hamilton getting screwed for the Formula One championship in 2021. So you, you, you're you happy about this news about Chris Warner? Ecstatic. <laughs> so he can charge you. What about you, Toby? What's going on? You said you've already had a hard week. or Yeah. Yeah. Did you break your heart again today? Why do you think it's girl-related all the time? Like... Why can't he just have a hard week just, at work? It, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it just, it's always, do you why have is that it always got to do it? On the go. Bruv, how do I even say this? Like respectfully, like they, no, nobody broke my heart. Like what's this guy's problem? I've just had a long week. It's been a long week of work, man. <laughs> shit's getting hectic. No, I don't. Not from you. Ah. Shit's getting hectic. Like yeah, so, at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shit's just getting yeah. hectic. I'm yeah. just doing so much right now, and it's just I'm just glad tomorrow's Friday, man. And working from home, week. doing nothing. I'm not working. I don't even care if they see this. I'm not working tomorrow. I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna sign in and I'll just chill for the rest what, of the day. Sometimes YouTube. be like that. No, no, no me today. No, <laughs> yeah, me today. <laughs> me today. Well. today. I was just there chilling. But yeah, that's about a busy day. Did you? What'd Mad was their work. Um, so uh, my company just re- we changed the structure. So my manager is now two steps ahead and now I have a supervisor between them. Okay. And the supervisor guy, he's just like thinking of work for everybody at the moment. So he's just coming up with like more and more things. Oh, because he has to prove himself. So, yeah, exactly. So he's, he's a new supervisor. Pro- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's like, oh, I got to prove you know I'm this. Yeah. You know when we're in Nines, there were some people who were working. Like, yeah, they're working I didn't know remotely. That. Yeah. How? How? Because the company works remotely anyway. Yeah, but how, how though? Like, Which where was the out? time to work? Oh, is, why were we actually? Oh yeah, I get you. Because we're yeah. out like seven. Not that we did anything, but we're out to like seven a.m. every day. This guy's gas. <laughs> why were you? Why is it we? Because he said on the timeline he didn't give specific details about his night trip after you went on. If I oh, that's gas. <laughs> so, why were you guys on the night? I'm I'm going soon, so give me me. I'm not gonna do what you guys do. My you, my, 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 you are definite. I will report you myself. Ah, so you guys were on that? No way, calm <laughs> down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> he was on that. I was a good boy, night. <laughs> That's good. Anyways, let's talk about this event. You guys have an event coming up? Yes, we do. Yes, <laughs> Wait, we do. what did you just say? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. This guy's been throwing me under the bus all day. What? what what's this? Do you guys believe the nonsense that's coming out of this book? Like, yeah, kind of. Do, do you guys believe what's all this? Does it matter if we believe it or does it matter if someone that's going to listen to this believes it? I, I think that's what he's worried about. Okay. Who do you, who do you, who's going to listen to this that you're worried about? Marco? Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's event. A- that's all about this event. <laughs> Finally, we've got here. You guys are doing an event on March 16th. Yeah. Yes. Right. Paddy's Day weekend. Yes. How did this come about? So we, in nine, we went to this event called Obi's House, right? It's mm-hmm. done every Monday in Nigeria. Anybody who has done Death of December should know about Obi's House. So it's basically like a big DJ showcase, right? It runs up until 6 a.m. in the morning. Crazy. And a lot of DJs perform all night long. And then all the major artists will come through as well. Like when we went, um, the day I went, sorry, I got to see Tiwa Savage. I got to see Thames. Burner. Side note, Thames is stunning. Um, and we got to see Burner. Ashake was there as well. It was, okay. just, it was unreal. It was such, and what, like they were not performing. They were just there. They all had their own tables. And it just the vibes was immaculate. Like everyone just had I didn't get in time. You didn't get yeah, in. No. Toby, didn't, Toby didn't get in. Toby I was, was stuck outside. Bro, there were so many people there. Like that. It was like so that's the downside hard. to their December. There is so many niggas in that country. It feels like it's just too many, too people, many people trying yeah, to climb yeah. on each other. I, I, like. I, 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 like, and you guys left them outside? No, it's calm. I was with some other bro. Okay, you know, okay. see Lagos. It doesn't matter if you're inside or outside. You're gonna party anyways. And oh, plus, okay. there were so many girls around. I didn't even care if I got in anyway. Fair, fair, fair. Balagba. See, I can, I can, I can willingly speak about what I did in Nigeria. Yeah. Because nobody's gonna listen and say, da, 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 da. Aqua, can you say the same? Yes. <laughs> I, Aqua, should we talk about what happened at Blowfish? What happened at Blowfish, bro? 
Go blow like a fish. You know, what? look, do you know there's okay, I'll, I'll I'll give you a quick summary, right? <laughs> Shall Poppy has this one called Cast. <laughs> that was my life at Blowfish. That was the funniest guy ever, man. Yeah. <laughs> this guy didn't even tell us the event that we came about. Like, yeah, yeah, just just he anyways, he anyways, anyways, back to yeah. the, the back to the, the the show. So um yeah, the idea behind this we want to give upcoming DJs in Ireland a chance to show what they can do. Mm. So we've got six DJs performing on the ninth, with Toby being the sixth DJ. Sixteenth, bro. On the 16th, performing as on the 16th. Performing on the 9th, as in. Oh, on the 9th. You're, you're struggling to say 9th and 9th. I will snatch your glass. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Anyways, we have six DJs performing on the 16th. Is that better, guys? Yes? Yeah. And basically, they all come from different genres as well. So it's not just Afrobeats for anybody who thinks it's Afrobeats. We have a, a DJ that plays on a piano. We have an R&B DJ opening for us as well. And it's just a 9th full of just vibes. And the plan is, we're going to do it like the... BM type party is what I'm going for. So anybody who knows about the BM, BM group, yeah, explain. Yeah, um, he's shaking his head because I can't. I can't really go into it. But anyways, I was part of this group back in you. God and forbid, we, bro. Let's move on from that. I was, name, to ask, I was about to ask this. God forbid. Uh, I, was, I was there during this time. I was going to ask what what happened, whatever happened to that. <laughs> what happened to those events? No, whatever happened to BM as a whole. Uh, so, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> We all, we all just grew up, uh, genuinely. We What's all just BM? grew up. It, it, was, it was a group of niggas that used to throw parties and shit. Oh, it was, okay, it was okay, our okay. college group, essentially. Yeah, oh, yeah, when yeah, we were yeah. in college, when this when kind of like most of us first met and everything, and yes, that's just yes. what we called ourselves. Yeah, why why the break up? Niggas. <laughs> 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 no, you know what? The funny thing is, niggas come on podcast a lot. No, wait, wait. No, I'm going to talk about Yeah, The reasons why the core group broke up was over Yash. No, it wasn't over Yash. It was. This guy's insane. It, it was. wasn't. <laughs> no, I'll tell you now. It, it wasn't over in Yash, but it, a, a girl was involved. But okay. it wasn't about what you think it would have been involved. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we it weren't it fighting over. I wasn't fighting over a girl. Oh, oh he so wasn't you were involved. Yeah, 100%. I wasn't even going to count. I was involved. Okay. That, it, it, it wasn't over in Yash, but a girl was involved. Yes, okay. a, a girl was involved. There's disrespect involved as well. Ah, uh, okay. You were oh, disrespected yeah. or. We're not going to talk about this. I said, I don't know what BM even was. We were anywhere here, BM, I think baby mom. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> because I, see, I see three said that's my BM. I'm like, all right, somebody said BM. Let's go back to the event. Back right. to the 16th. It's just back it's, to the 16th. It's pretty much a showcase for new DJs in the country, you know, because mm-hmm. there's a lot of sick new DJs that are coming up, a big cropping them. It's just they don't have the they don't have the like audience, for example, to give them a shot to to do something like this. Like, like, cause you know, when you think DJs in the country, you're thinking Tyo, you're thinking Jesse, all yeah. these mans. There's yeah. some new quality DJs, like, and that's pretty much what I want to showcase on the 16th. And obviously, yeah. I'm gonna headline it because I think I'm pretty sick. So, how'd you get into DJ? Pandemic. Yeah, a like, pandemic. I keep saying it just brought a lot of people's creativity Bro, to I, to kind of do. I, I don't. Like I was always, music was always calm with me, but at the start of the decade, I had no intentions of DJing, but pandemic happened and I was losing my mind in my bedroom. Yeah. So I'd like, I bought a little shitty controller and I, obviously I'm close friends with Tyre, DJT. Yeah. And that was how we started in Tyre's house and now we're here. And I was going to ask about the event. Where is it? Sorry. Racket Space. Racket Space. Racket Space. Racket okay. Space. It's basically the, Bernard, the basement the Bernard of Shaw, the Bernard yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what's your role in this? You're just a manager of the... I'm Toby's manager. And I wanted to be a successful night. And since I am the one who has gone and did all the planning, I am responsible for also promoting it, which is why I bullied you a little bit, Jordan. Mm. And a no, bully, just asked. <laughs> just like, no, some people call it bullying, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm sticking to Do you know what it is? Yeah, I thought it was special. And then I saw it in everybody's story. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not special at all. I, I, got, I got Tommy and said, Dunga's like, ah, yeah, he's so Yeah, because it was, it was a thing for me where it was like, I wanted to do, yesterday I really wanted to do like an overload. I wanted it to be like a thing where you couldn't miss it. Yeah. Right? Mm. And, and it is going to be that type of event because I'm telling you, these DJs are awesome. Like, like, like honestly, I, I've ass. heard, I have not heard all of the DJs perform and I, I really I trust, have. I really trust Toby's word but there's someone that the DJs that I have personally heard perform mm. are sick. I'm, MK uh, is phenomenal. What makes a good DJ? Yeah, and like, yeah, what makes a good DJ is what you said there. Oh, good. I'll probably answer, I'll answer that. I think being able to read the crowd that you have will separate you from any type of DJs. Because mm-hmm. something I've noticed, especially since I started DJ, and if I go to Moves now, I'm always, I'm going to criticize the DJ or I'm going to I'm gonna be like, you're either good or you're rubbish. So it's a case of, I feel like some DJs can't read their crowd. Like, you know, you're, how do I say this? You're, you're in a crowd of like, let's say college students, for example. 
and they want to listen to trap or all this type of music and you're you're just playing something else essentially and you're just being you're playing something you want to hear rather than what they want to hear. Mm. That's why I feel being able to reach your crowd is very, very important. And you said you were a sick DJ. How do you get the feedback and do you trust people giving you the feedback or that? Because are the people gonna be able to tell you you're not a sick DJ? Because I I think I tweeted this the other day, I was like saying in it's hard to be sub- like I see a lot of opinions, mm-hmm. but maybe subjectiveness isn't there because it's coming from people's friends. Yeah. Like my friend Morris thinks my podcast is the best, but well, he's my best friend. Yeah. So he's supposed to, he's, yeah. he's gonna say that to me. So I can't take his opinion then too strong because I'm like, yeah, but you're my guy. Obviously, what are you gonna say? But that's what I'm kind of asking you. Like, who does this opinion come from for you to be like, you like, know, what? I'm actually you know, a DJ. Every time like I've done gigs, ever since like last year was the first full year that I came out as a, as I, I, I like I claimed that I was a DJ because I was a promoter for the longest time and then I just started DJing. And then last year was the first year I came out and. Every time I've done gigs, I'd randomly just get messages from people who I've done the gigs for and they'll just be praising me. Like, and for okay. that, I would feel so gassed. I'll just be like, oh shit, this feels really nice. And then there's other situations where I'll be playing and I can literally feel the energy from the crowd. Like, like mm. that, that shit is real, bro. And I was, I'll start sweating because that's how hot it would get. Okay. Because so, and I'm feeling, and, and then they're, they're jamming to what I'm playing and you know, then I'll just obviously yeah, I, you just I, know that I, you're I good at this stuff I've been like. lucky enough to listen to Toby play yeah. he played at said blowfish <laughs> which <laughs> he played at said blowfish and he actually had a such a six set. he had like random women coming up and spraying them money it was it was actually it was actually it was actually he did really well what, <laughs> what's, first time I saw him do a full set and he did really really well yeah. what's like what's the thing that sets you apart that makes you a sick DJ in your opinion Set me apart to the others, yeah. yeah. Or just even just what makes you a sick DJ in your own. Just opinion. reading, the, you're able I know, to read. I, the roof. I feel like I'm kind of creative, like when it comes to like how I mix, mm. or even like music that I mix as well and stuff that I kind of mix. And I always try to like think of wacky stuff. Like if anybody's in my, well, I don't know. You'll be in my private story. You know, I've put up some some <laughs> wacky stuff when I'm DJing, when I'm practicing and stuff. So yeah, I, I spend a lot of time practicing as well, like because. I feel like that's the only way you're gonna improve. Yeah, one of the things I even like about this is that we're getting different like type of events. It's not just like a, a DJ basically showcase. Yeah. It's not mm-hmm. some, again, maybe I'm secluded. I don't want to speak like I, I'm outside, but it's not something I've really seen. I'm like, oh, I've not done, I don't know if they do it. Cause I, obviously we have different when DLT comes or any event, the DJs come and they change. I have a couple of DJs performing on the night, but it's not like a showcase to show or these that are the DJs good, yeah, are yeah, like performing. Yeah. How did you find them? Like these DJs? Um, I guess like at the end of the day, we're all kind of new together. Like, and it's just, I don't know, like people just I, when you when you're in the scene, <laughs> when you're in the scene, you just you just mix it. And just, like like Raji, for example, Raji, like Raji, I've known since he was like even a kid. Like, but yeah, he's only recently started DJing. And I was just like, this guy's awesome. Like, Raji is really good. Yeah, yeah. because then, of your algorithm, does it cater to your interest? Like, you know, I do podcasts, yeah. so I'm more intentional of seeing what other podcasts even yeah. here abroad are doing. Is that yeah. kind of the same for yeah. you? Like, my TikTok, to... my Instagram, my yeah. Twitter, it's, it's either DJ videos or Arsenal or women. <laughs> that's good that, mix. That's literally that's, my that's, 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 a, that's a good mix. I, I like that. And Bideno, you were talking uh, like about collaboration mm-hmm. and all that. Do you think it's be it's suitable, like this kind of showcase event and maybe combine it with another showcase where you have... Is that, are those kind of things so, so that's, that's, um, that's To be honest, that is... What I'm heading towards towards the end of the year, right? So towards the end of the year, I've been talking to Jaffa and I've been talking to Simba as well, and we're going to do an artist showcase to end the year. But before we get there, there there's other things that we want to accomplish first, and all of obviously all was to plan all of that. It's that all of that still being planned in the background. So I want to do like I'm going to do a DJ showcase. I'm going to do an artist showcase. I I I tried to talk to Zeda as well about doing like a fashion showcase. I like get all the fashion niggas, as you guys like to call them, in a room and get them to like style people and we do like a catwalk for people. That, that's like that's I'm just so trying a fashion to, show. Give, yeah, not give, to cut you off. Yeah, it's, it's like fashion, fashion show. shows in uni and in the Afro socks. They were really popular. Yeah. They were always yeah. Yeah. And, and, was, and, and those fashion niggas are now the, like the people that we call fashion niggas today. I'm like, oh yeah. It, it would actually be a good place. Again, maybe you need infrastructure, funding, mm-hmm. the right people. But Zeta would be the person Zeta to kind of go to. Like, I know who, I know who Absolutely, to, because to like, do this, yeah. for me, when I when I think fashion, the first thing that comes into my head is Oin. Yeah. Because yeah. like, I've known Oin, I'm knowing, I've known <laughs> Oin since she was a kid and she's always been about fashion and I've, it, I've gotten to see her grow and get better and just become the person that she is today. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because... Have, have you new event fallen off? You or didn't. Just, oh, they have, bro. Or, or are bro. we just not in the same circles? No, they have. They fo- they fall off, bro. It's not as fun as when we were in college, man. 
Every other, that, every no, no, other, you don't find no, no, it fun. No, 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 bro, 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 I'm is telling you, you don't yeah. find it fun. Or no, 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 it's not about me. Like I've even had like people who are still in college that I've had conversations with. They just like college events aren't as fun, bro. Nobody understands that this scene right now that we're all enjoying <laughs> yeah. was created when we were in college. In uni, yeah, yeah. That's in, what I'm saying about the fashion. In college, like, bro. The fashion niggas were the one doing the fashion shows. Yeah. You can't, that's take, what, take, and those take, shows take, always hold. They were take, always good. Take, take Wild Now, for example. Wild yeah. Now was done in college by yeah. my, my college UCD at the time mm. and Trinity. Mm. And then we did it again last year. And because like we have the experience now, we have the yeah. money. We weren't broke. We weren't and broke podcasts were just SQ so conversations. You know my family life that Wild Now. No, let's not talk about it. Wait, which one? I don't care what this dickhead said. No, Why does it look like your girlfriend has... You look like... What's wrong with this guy? Something about <laughs> What's wrong with your this? girlfriend's head. I said, wow. <laughs> I said, crazy. Bars, you know. <laughs> I have the video if you want it. You can put There's it no the There's no need. Guy, I'm, I'm <laughs> cool with those guys again. Why would you want to bring that up again? What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> right, well, um, no, because like, obviously before we used to see all the, we used to see a bunch of different kinds of things. Like even... Um, I remember, what was it? Asai African Societies Association. Yeah, yeah, Cyborg. Island, what's called? Yeah, they had a ball. Oh, like, yeah. Was yeah they yeah, don't do any of that stuff. They, 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 they the, the reason people were able to do a lot of those stuff is because they had the funding, mm. right? A lot of the time, people, a lot of people have great ideas, but they just don't have the money to back it. And a lot of people don't want to go through the whole process of setting up an event, right? And having to yeah, sell a show. Wouldn't you think, like, to, we would have set the foundation already, so there should be even more funding now. Yeah, like, because at even at the end of the day, like you guys were saying, we were broke back then. We were broke back then and we were still being creative yeah, with yeah, everything like um, funding from uni right but, but that there was no uni funding stopped. when when I, when I was in the student union in, in ITB we every time we tr- I threw a clubs and socks event I got backing from the uni yes students bought tickets you don't get me wrong but you still got some money from bro you're, you're talking about student union I'm talking about Africa Society bro mm-hmm. I, I ran I ran UCD's Africa Society for a year and the, bro the, our main big event for that year was always take me out and when I tell yeah, you that yes, that, that, was that event came yeah. out of our pocket bro we, mm-hmm. we didn't get shit from the uni bro yeah like not every, not every some colleges do get get stuff but what, we're, what I'm saying is if the college allocate certain amount to unis mm-hmm. they didn't just stop yeah it's still like it's still probably there you hit the I don't right even people. know if Asai is still a thing though I don't think so I, yeah, I think for us anyways at DCU, it was like when you became a member of a SOC, you paid like you three paid or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they use. Like to your case, I think Fiona ran the, the, was president one of the years I was there and, and it was like Zenda that through that fashion show. But I think I don't think DCU were like, Oh yeah, take this money take and, this money and, do and what they did show, yeah. do is to be fair to them, they gave you the space. They gave you the room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yeah, they yeah, said, yeah, yeah, this you can I, book this room when mm-hmm. it suits you to throw yeah. your events. At least you always had and somewhere the, to a do. venue and the, the venue is a big you. cost yeah the, yeah, the venue, yeah, the is, venue a is a big cost, cost yeah yeah but if like that's what i'm asking like i don't know maybe because i don't really know anybody in uni anymore so maybe it just doesn't come across my timeline and stuff like that are those things still happening it's been trickling a little bit since goody did the family fortune mm-hmm. in the college and then he's also then he started sharing a masquerade ball that was mm-hmm. the only one. like i like that's again that's the extent i'm seeing yeah. but that's what's happening like what a lot of what's gonna happen like for you for example you're probably gonna be dj for uni events because mm-hmm. now we're going to see our peers like oh the fashion niggas they'll probably do fashion shows or they'll show up for the uni events mm-hmm. I think that's probably the way we'll see it now whereas mm-hmm. we'll start linking up with them rather than just us popping up in our eyes because I don't know I, I have no 21 year olds in my Snapchat like yeah, it's I like, know, I, like I just know. add I don't add new people in my Snapchat anyways because yeah. it's uh, outdated. The only twenty one year old I know is my little sister. Yeah, do you know, mm-hmm. like okay, what she's saying is she in uni or she's in uni, but my what of course. Uh, another thing is a lot of her age group are very maybe it's just because of the friend her friends, but all of them are very about God. Okay. Right. The only thing they want to hear is they want to talk about open circle. They want to talk about going to church on Sunday. Okay. Like even like down to my events. That's your own stuff. You're having fun in college now. Yeah. No. But, like, I mean, but that's, that's, but that's, that's, that's their reality. Yeah. That's, because for example, like my sister says, she's not coming to my event not because she doesn't want to support me, but because she's taking the Christian life very seriously at the mm. moment, so she doesn't think that's the space for her. And I was like, that's fair enough. Yeah, point. I would say, but like we've always had those. We've There's always, always had been those, those kind of groups. people, even yeah. when we were growing up. There's always been that. Like, like you said, it's probably just her group of friends or whatever. But I was gonna ask go back to you with DJ in the year one thing I find is like like just lack of song selection like I'm if I'm in the venue early enough I'm probably hearing the same song three four times and it's kind of like that is something that's not going to happen at the showcase because we have DJs playing different genres mm-hmm. and every DJ as well is also going to pay Irish artists that's the one thing I've asked from all of them I just said as part of your set I want to hear at least one Irish artist as a part of your set you can be anybody you want but you must play Irish music because mm. for me, I'm very much in supporting where I'm from. Mm. So we're doing this in Ireland. We're all Irish DJs. I expect that you play Irish artists too. Yeah. Right. They, we have, it's not like we don't have R&B Irish artists. Maybe, I don't know if we have any 
I was, was, it's being humble artist. R&B. I, I would I would I would put Beyond Bust. Oh, R&B. Yeah, like, where would you put Tolu? Where would you put Tolu? Pantans are R&B. Tolu is like R&B. Yeah, Tolu is like R&B. Yeah, so they do exist. You could play Tolu Make there, so like... Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, well, you, you, we've got the gliders, we've got Junzi, we've got yeah. like there's so many. No, no, no there's definitely talent. Look like, at Plantain's like, Plat- yeah. new um, album. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stealing, 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 yeah. Great, great, great good stuff. Like. Very good project to work. Was, um, sorry, no, because like we always chat about DJs, but we never actually talk to DJs a lot. Of the yeah. Time. yeah. So what's called like? Do you feel like it's your job to put people onto new music? No, but it is. No, it isn't. It kind of is. Why is it? That's how it actually worked back in the day, right? When when rappers were coming up, they would get they would pay DJs or they would give them music. This isn't DJs back in the DJs, day anymore, bro. Bro, let me land. Let me land. Go ahead. The first place he's already said, I'm gonna disagree with you. <laughs> yeah, I, I know he's gonna disagree. Yeah. You can disagree if you want, yeah. but more time the the place people hear music for the first time is in a club, right? Especially in their younger years, right? Mm-hmm. For for uni students when they want to go out all the time, they want to do this. For us now, it's different because we don't even listen to the radio anymore, mm-hmm. right? We 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 will listen more to podcasts. We're not really music people like that. Yeah, I wouldn't say. That. I play the same three songs every day. Exactly. I've actually <laughs> gone to a point in my life now where I don't like half the time I don't even know a new song is out. Yeah. Till somebody plays for me. <laughs> like I didn't like I I love Charlie Poppy now, but before I went to Nigeria, I did genuinely did not know who Charlie Poppy was. And I still be I never had the heard the Charlie Poppy song mm-hmm. and now I genuinely love the guy. Yeah. I'm still not paying 70 euros to see him. That's crazy. But I love the guy. I bought him factory, you know. Yeah, they've actually they the they moved it. It's a red cow now. It's a red warehouse or something. Con, con, what's called? Concert prices of just the uh, stupid insane. these days. If like, I'm paying 70 euros for Charlie Poppy, how much am I, are we going to pay when J. Cole comes back? I'm going J. Cole. Come back. I don't care he how said, much He says he's going no matter what. I will be there. I will be there. I don't care. <laughs> but I will pay can whatever. Can, can, can we go back to this? Me. Yeah, yeah. Back to me. Yeah. You, don't disagree, you don't agree that a DJ should put us See, on music? As far as I'm concerned, the job of a DJ is to bring vibes. Right? Okay. It doesn't matter where you are. Your job is to bring the vibes and bring the energy and bring all that kind of stuff, right? Majority of the times, right, I don't go in with the intention of, oh, I want to put new people on new songs. People are going to find new songs on my set anyways, but I'm not going in the intention of, oh, I want to put you on. Because like I said, I keep, I'm always updating my playlist, especially with TikTok as well. There's always random new trending songs on TikTok. I'm always updating my playlist. So most of the time or sometimes people will find a new song on my set. But I'm not going in with the intention of me putting on your new song. For what? Like, well, what's that going to do for me? To be honest, when I say new, when I say new music, I don't mean music that was just released. Sometimes you, a song might be new to you that came out in 99. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So sometimes I've, because like, I feel like because a lot of people might not see it in a way of like, not that your job's put me onto new music, but if everybody's choosing from the TikTok library, there's not that much to no, draw from. I, and I, that's I how hear that. I hear that. But again, like I said, like there's going to be times where I'm going to play something you've never heard, bro. Or I'm going to oh, play yeah, something yeah. Aqua's never heard. But I'm not going in with the intention of, oh, I'm going to put people on new music. Mm-hmm. My, my, like, my okay. set, it's not like I'm going to play the same set on Monday. It's the same one I'm going to play on Tuesday. Yeah. The set I play depends on who I'm playing for. Okay, Toby. Toby, you were speaking about the Irish scene, right? right? I, the Irish scene is very much in its development stages, right? So you have. They hate when we say that. I, I hate. Now, I'm just going what you people call it. Mm-hmm. Yeah? We have artists dropping music now. If an Irish artist dropped music now that you thought was good, mm-hmm. right? Like, for example, take Glider's Ninth Blood or Glider's Blockbuster. Blockbuster's right? a banger. Would, would, you, so would you add it to your set? I would, I would, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm already thinking this is gonna bang in the club or this is gonna bang yeah. in the move. So I'll put it in my playlist. I have Plantain's um that Vela song in my yeah, playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not supposed to talk about anything. I don't hear. I've already anything. played it out. I've oh, played okay. it before. I don't want that's, that's what I'm saying. I have I don't a song. Want to hear I, I will put something that I think is gonna bang at a move or I think is gonna bang at a club. I'll put it into my playlist. So again, I'm not going with the intention of I want to put I you on your songs. I'm my going, intention isn't to introduce you to music. Yeah, my intention, I, my intention is to bring vibes. Yeah, to show you a good time. That that's all I care about. Oh no, yeah. Then then I like I. I have to explain that I would agree with you. Like yeah. it's like it's not your job, but like, because I was I was always saying before, we're always talking about oh Irish people aren't supporting them, but the DJs for the most part weren't playing Irish music. Yeah. And it's not like it's not like the music was below par because, like you said, blockbusters are banger. No matter I reloaded that song five times the other day, mm. but it doesn't matter where you play that song, it's gonna be a banger. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's kind of like sometimes I'm like if if the crowd like at the if end the, of the day exactly if the crowd it depends don't know on the it, crowd as well. But yeah. the thing is like uh, if. If the vibes is good, yeah. If okay, personally, and correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. If I feel like you're a sick DJ and you you're you're going in, you're going through songs and everything, and it doesn't really matter if I know the song or not. If the song is a banger, the song is a the banger, song is a banger yeah. and that's why it cause sometimes it just feels like, like why am, why am I why am I there at ten o'clock and I'm hearing and I'm hearing all of the bangers, <laughs> bro. The party's never full yet. Like that's why I go. It goes back to my question of like, 
do some of the DJs have like collection, like songs to pick from when it's like, okay, I can't play these certified bangers that I know if I play, everybody's going to go off because I know in an hour, Toby's going to play them or in an hour, Jesse or, or Tyo's going to play them. Yeah. And I feel like that's lacking a lot of the time. So I'm out, I'm out and it feels like I'm listening to the same mix on repeat because every song I just heard yeah. 10 minutes ago. I have an idea. Yeah, I, I think, I think yeah. that also comes from having too many DJs play another, other thing though. No? But the amount of music is infinite. Yeah. I get that, but like, the, or people, if you're a DJ, you're going to want to play the popular songs, right? Not no, necessarily. But, no, but play no, no, your no, role. Bro, if you're here to warm up the crowd, don't be playing, don't be playing, don't play yeah, the banger. Exactly, not, not necessarily. I just feel like, at the end of the day, like it takes hours and hours and hours to gather music because I've learned this firsthand. It will take you so long to like build your folders and all that kind of stuff, yeah. But some luck can be lazy and just stick to a formula. That's mm. repeating all the bangers and like you're you're opening up at ten. Move is going on to half two and you're you're playing cast already. Like, do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I feel like taking the time to diversify yourself and diversify your music is very very important, especially as a DJ. And I spend hours doing this shit. It is annoying. Downloading music is the most annoying thing. It takes up so much space as well. But you have to do it as a DJ. So I, I kind of get what you're saying, but to me. It's more of the crowd for me. I I will go to the mall. I'll go blind because okay. I'm mixing on the raw and I'm gonna read the crowd. Okay, like, so this, do me a like. favor. Look in that camera and sell the DJ showcase or your set. What what, what do you mean? <laughs> sell your sets at the <laughs> DJ showcase. See, like here's the thing, right? Obviously, I've been doing this for a year now, innit? And people already know me. The people who are coming to see me already know what they're coming. Yeah, in but for. The, uh, as you, they don't know you. Sell the set. Okay, you're gonna come through. You're gonna have a good time. I'm going to. It's gonna be electric. Where the energy, I'm gonna be feeling it, bro. That that's one thing I'm gonna be guaranteed. That's it. It's gonna be so. It's gonna bang so much that it's just by the time we drop the second one, you're gonna be so excited. Fair. Fair. Yeah. And Akbo, what I want to ask you is about support again. Maybe both of you is about support. You're so big. I'm like, oh, I want to support. I want to support. I'm a girlfriend supporter. Mm -hmm. For someone that it doesn't maybe directly benefit. Like, for an example, he should support DJs because the bigger DJs scene gets, the the more, the more money there is in it, mm -hmm. the beneficial for him. I support podcasts. The more we're doing, the more the shows the podcasters are doing, the more popular podcasters I get, mm -hmm. the more beneficial that. So I have a direct interest to my support. Mm -hmm. Whereas you're someone in, maybe in the background, you're not front facing, you're not DJing, you're not mm -hmm. podcasting, you're not doing content. Why are you so big? I'm like, I, I'm okay, going to have you, support. You, you nobody use, has your type of mentality. Yeah, you use money, right? You said, the more DJs you make, the more, yeah, the yeah. more money you make. Yeah, because then you have a motivation to why but to support your thing. More, the money's in the background. Okay. Being the front face doesn't mean you're making money. Mm. Look at the owners of TVs, TV channels, for example. They're the ones who, do, who have the money, but you never know who they are. Mm. Right? So like, your thing is more, just the more money. Yeah. The more money Toby makes, the more money I make. The more money Yemi makes, the more money I make. The more money Simba makes, the more money I make. Right? So for me, making them bigger and taking an interest in their interest also benefits me. Yeah. I get you. Me? Yeah. No, because obviously I've heard you labor the point of like, oh, we need to come together. We need to support. We do. For, I, I know I hear it, but it's just because I'm like, for someone from obviously me looking at it, like from someone that's actually not directly involved with any endeavor, mm -hmm. I want, I was just curious is like, why is he but so... Like, like, okay, so you said if he, if, if he invests in other DJs, he makes his life easier. But what you guys don't realize is everything is intertwined, mm. right? podcasters can also work too as helping people sell shows, right? Because everybody's going to have to do media runs, mm. right? So if you help people sell their shows, you are making yourself bigger because it starts to be a thing where everybody starts to understand this. If we listen to charges, we're going to find out what's happening this weekend or next weekend or this month or whatever. That becomes a part of your brand. That helps you grow and become a bigger podcast at the end of the day. Mm. If it's a thing where people are genuinely coming to you, like, we need to sell this book, we need to sell the show, and you guys are a stable house when it comes to promoting stuff, whether it be shows, books, whatever, like, that makes you so much bigger. Mm. And it has nothing to do with podcasting. Mm. It's everything to do with whether it's a DJ, whether it's somebody's a writer, whether it's an actor, it can be anything. Which you know one of I mean? your clients is most, most likely to get you out the hood? <laughs> I'll be real. I'll be real. But currently, don't answer that question, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't answer that question. Why would you answer no, that? What's wrong with you? It's like a charger, bro. It's like a charger. Don't answer that question. Simba, Yemi. Yeah, oh, 100%. Huh? 
<laughs> you know why? Because they're further fur- developed in their craft. Yeah, like they've been doing it for so long. So the you when you say pandemic and yeah, pandemic yeah, yeah. was last year, year pretty much. Yeah. 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 got plaques. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean. <laughs> like I'll, I'll, be, I'll be real, right? I'll be real. If we're looking at where people are right now, the person who can get me out the hood will be Yemi, because not just because of his drive, just because of the things we have coming up. Mm. that I'm, oh, I'm myself I'm excited on like me and Yemi are working on a book for example right we're, we're doing a recipe recipe book right if that goes off well that's going to be brilliant Wait, so is, that three, is that three month plan is that free three months is it for everyone because I can tap into that as well what do you mean it's, it's three months plan now you gave it to Dongo for free I did it's not free for everyone that was a pre- present for Dongo that was a present. I gave Don't go. Well, it's my birthday next week. Figure out what you're giving. Oh, also, what's going on? You ain't got influencer. You ain't got influencer pull like Don't go. <laughs> Don't go's got people on it on a live uh, until one a.m. on a weeknight. <laughs> on a weeknight. Uh, I got pull still. Yeah. Not your. Not where you pull your pee. Whoa, on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The sky is gas, what are we man. talking about? No, you're saying yeah, we, you have things coming up down the pipeline like that like yeah. Yeah, you're excited yeah. about to get you. Yeah, no, shout out to you because your fitness journey has been inspiring for a lot of people. You you actually became for a while his advertisement. Everybody I was, still am. Everybody's looking at you and looking saying like, wow, I've like, seen the, the difference the in the Akbo. I'm the amount of, doing it. The amount of clients Yemi gets that come to Yemi and say, I saw what Akbo looks like. I want to be your client. is insane. What? Be- it's it happens still today. Like the amount, like he like he would talk to me. Obviously, like we do like biweekly meetings. But where we're at, where we're headed, and it's just it's. I find it so funny because for me, I like I I don't know what it's called. When I look in the mirror, I don't see what other people see. Mm-hmm. But, but it's I, I did mine it myself. Yeah. If anybody wants to buy my fitness plan, you did it as well. What? Oh, you don't know what I look like before. Oh yeah, Toby's, vaguely. Toby's, Toby's, you know, Toby used to be fat. Yeah, no, yeah, well? oh, yeah. yeah, they used to go to be fat, Toby. <laughs> Not to his face they, behind his back. There you go. <laughs> I mean, they didn't because I never heard. Were that. you in those rooms sending them to don't say that? Do they bond this guy? Uh, well. he, he was a he was a burger as well. Like, I so. was a burger. <laughs> I was faster than him. What was I going to say? What was your motivation, though? Like to say, do you know what? This is enough. I need to lose weight. I should. Va- I don't remember. It. Was and my other question was this after the edibles? <laughs> yeah, it was after the edibles. I was still in college during edibles day, man. I'm a freebie. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. My, my weight has always fluctuated. Like, it's either I was very fat or I was so very why skinny. did you lose the weight? Because I was in your story where you, you talked about it. So tell the truth, I should be devil. Bro, let me, let me get to the <laughs> point now. Okay. Anyways, there was a, uh, what's it called? Yeah, my weight has always fluctuated. It was either yeah. really, really big or I was really skinny. So it was mm. never in between. And then pandemic did me dirty. Mm. And then um, there was a period, I was going to say two years ago, I was seeing somebody. Mm. And then she just happened to be a gym head. Mm-hmm. Boy, can you stop? <laughs> <With the laughs> Why is he added hard limbs? But anyways, she just happened to be a gym head, right? Gym head. And then I just decided, like, I don't know what it was. Someone just clicked in my eyes, like, let me just start working out. Not just because we we're already dating by then, but yeah. it was just more like to impress her or something. Mm, you were just but impress her. Mm. She's not in the picture anymore, but I stuck with the gym. Mm. So oh, now, okay. now before it used to be a chore for me, now it's not a chore anymore. Is it like one of those things? You know how they say some people just come into your life for a reason, like for yeah, a reason. You, you can and maybe that, that could have been yeah. like obviously. I wish you, like, yeah, you want things to work out when you're dating someone. That that's your plan. You don't wish it doesn't work. But sometimes when it doesn't work and you kind of keep looking, it's like, you know what? It, you still got yeah. to lose weight, feel better about yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like I said, gym used to be a chore for me, but now it's, if I miss it, I'm vexed. Yeah. I, I'm just, like, yeah, I, I think everybody kind difference. of starts off like that, right? Yeah. It's a chore for everybody. Like, like when if, I, go if, on, I, don't I, go, if I don't go to the gym, like, for example, today was my rest day and I literally felt uncomfortable all day. How many rest days you used every week, though? Uh, two. Two. Okay. I go to gym five, five times a week. Five. At every time at 4 a.m. Because let's talk about this. So I go to the gym. You're up early every fucking day. I go to the gym for, at 5 a.m. four times a week and at 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Jesus. And where's the motivation come from for you? Like, obviously, you also put on a bit of weight. You you, you talked about it's your... It's just my routine. It's not motivation. Like, Jenny, the only reason I started going to gym was because I wanted to support Yemi. Right? Mm. This was before I started managing Yemi. Like, Yemi had just become a PT. And obviously, like, he was still in his beauty office. And I was like, ah, let me throw my boy a few quid. So I threw him a few quid and I actually liked what I saw. So I stuck with it. And I stuck with it, which is when I then did the reinventing Akbo 2.0 post on Instagram. I don't mm-hmm. know if you saw that. Mm-hmm. And that's when Yemi skyrocketed. That's when Yemi got like, he got like, I think there was a time he got like three, five signups in one day. This guy just wants, just I say, think, I think I, more I, I put Yemi on. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he always says, I put him on. I, I, no, think, no, no, it's not, I, I don't think that I put him on. I honestly feel like Yemi's hard work is what yeah, got him yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a hard work in the example, yeah. but Yemi, Yemi's brilliant at what he does. No, we talked know. him on the party. He's like he had a PhD. He played he football does. at a yeah. high level. Yeah. Yeah. Like he does, it, it seems like a high performer. Everything he, he does, Yemi's he just does at a high level. Very, very high performer. Yeah. He has a lot of ideas in that head of his, man. I think motivation gets you through the door and then it just becomes easy then. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. What about yourself? How's your gym journey? I know you've talked about it. Are you going to... Yeah. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. But I think that's it. Oh, do you guys have anything else to bring up or say or talk about before we close up? Um, the only, the only, only thing I want to say is DJ Showcase is on the 16th. I want everybody to come out and have Listen, a Listen, it's time. my birthday next week. Don't give me any presents. Go buy tickets to my motive. All yep. of you that know me, you're going to watch this. Well, so you, your birthday you, is what the sixth? Sixth of March, baby. And I think this ep- episode's dropping the Wednesday, the fifth. Fifth is Tuesday, bro. Sixth oh. is Wednesday. Yes, so yes. It's just on your birthday. birthday. Today's so, birthday. So buy my fucking tickets. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. But anyways, for me, just I want everybody to. If you're coming to the, I don't want you to buy a ticket if you plan on standing in the corner and squeezing your face, mm. because we will fight. Ask Odi. I don't play around. Right. If you're coming out, come out and have a great time. Because it's going to be a sick night. I want everybody to come. If you're a drinker, come and let's get drunk. If you think you can drink me on the table, I dare you. Come out. Man dems, there'll time. be babes. Babes them, there'll be man dems. There's, honestly, right now, most of the tickets have been women. Oh. A they lot they of the says that about events. No, I'm actually, I, can, I can show you right now. At women least always 70% of the, of the tickets right now are women. Man dems are waiting for the week off. They're waiting to see if there's a better move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I actually, find, for the I actually find that women are supporting us a lot more than the men are. Yeah, because women know how to have fun, man. Niggas are dead. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, you said yeah. Uh, niggas are broke if they're not buying tickets. That's what Aqua no, said. No, no, that's what Aqua said. Yeah, 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 <laughs> no, I didn't say that. That's what Aqua said. I, said well, I, I didn't say niggas are broke. I'm saying niggas... For me, if I'm doing a move, I will cater it towards women because women will bring the vibes. Niggas are just there for just niggas because will, everybody will, will bring the vibe and then they also bring the men as well. Yeah, yeah. that's what they say. Women free. Well. That's what they say. Women are, it's for free. Women, for women. Is for free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not doing that because <laughs> I. You know, I'm, 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 like as much as I would love to say women going free, I have to pay the DJs. Yeah. All right, and I'm also gonna do on the night. I'm gonna do a a, a poll where I'm gonna say. Who are the best? I'm going to leave Toby out of it, obviously, because that's my client. And I don't want to say before he wins and they say he mm, rigged mm, it. Mm, mm. I'm going to say which of the DJs had the best performance on the night. And people are going to vote. And then I'm going to double the pay. I'm supposed to pay that DJ. Jeez. Out of How did you find running an event? Like all the logistics that come with it? It's hard, bro. Yeah. You don't say. It yeah. is honestly... The, like the amount of times I've talked... Text Toby just stressing and he's just like, I go shut up and come. Yeah, it was, you know, obviously I've been doing this longer than him. Mm. He'd be texting me about stuff. I'd just be like, relax, bro. You don't need to worry about all this stuff, man. Mm, yeah. It's just he's he's clearly new to it, but obviously I'm, I've been I'm, doing I'm this. Very, since I'm very like I'm I'm one of those people like I I have I'm a perfectionist. When I do things, I like it to go well. No, as a like, I, I'm, I'm like the complete opposite to David of Where's Your Head At, where he said he would have been happy if five people watched your pod. Mm. I'm the kind of person, if I started a podcast, I wanted to start with 100 views. Or, or like, you get what I mean? I like, always set myself a high target. Mm. So when I when we released the tickets and it's, it was a slow start, it was very hard for me to accept. But it, like I, I spoke to people. Put people out tickets were, before yeah, payday. Like I said, people don't have yeah, tickets. Yeah, and also when, you, when people see the date. <laughs> no, okay, I see the date. I was far away from the date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. doesn't understand nah, that? Nah, nah, nah. Stop that noise. Stop that noise. When DLT came to Ireland, DLT sold out immediately. That's different. Oh, that's, different. No, 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 that's different. No, that's different. Let me land. All three times, they have now sold out. Bro, that's different. Let me land. RB came, wasn't paydays as well, so that immediately. Why is that different? First of all, that's different, bro. They have to buy UK. R&B. They have a brand. R&B yeah. had had a lot of people from the UK come. Number one, yeah. number two, because they have an existing brand. A brand, yeah. Like, we don't got that, called? bro. The first time DLT came, they were they were still high off Malta. I think the second Malta had come yeah, already. Yeah, 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 like yeah. it was, it was, it was, big, it, like, was a, yeah. it was a thing. Do you get what I'm saying? And then even with the R&B, they've been selling out every single venue they've gone to. Yeah. Like for I was like, for most part, it's kind of like people that didn't get tickets in other places. Mm-hmm. They see Dublin. It's right across the pond. Don't come, yeah. It gives us reason to visit Dublin anyways. Mm-hmm. And plus, what's called? Because of Damien. That R&B move was filled with bare UK people. Yeah, there was yeah, more yeah, UK yeah, people yeah. than Irish people. Yeah, yeah. what's yeah. called? Like, the Ir- like Dami, Dami doing what Dami's doing. The, the Irish tax is high. Mm-hmm. What's called? Who's the who's the other Ir- the Irish woman from that are You popping? want to? Like, yeah, you want to? Martin what's called? Well. Catherine. Even Martin, what's called? The the Irish stock is high, bro. It, just, it only made sense. So they however, have a brand. You can't compare ourselves to that. However, it's, it's different. It's different, it's different yeah. when you're, especially when you're building, like even for us on our live show. Yeah. Bro, it was things slow. were slow. And then the week until the, This is nearly what I told him. It's like on the week, he's going to pick it was up. Like, it was like 48 hours or 24 yeah. hours. All it was like Thursday, I was driving Sorry, home yeah. and I was looking at it. And by the day of the show, people calling people you. People calling you. Any tickets left? Any tickets? Which is what's going to happen. You'll see. I think it's just a thing. Guys, listen to me. Let me be clear. <laughs> They're not going to listen to you. Don't call my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm, you cannot even call Toby's phone because one, Toby knows better. Toby knows I don't play about money. 
once it sells out, every ticker we have available is all the space we have available. I am not going to overfill the venue because that means the people who actually care to buy the tickets on time are then going to suffer because it's going to be too hot and too tight. It's designed the way it is Yo. for a reason. So if you really are going to be at the event, <laughs> please buy your ticket. Thank you. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Akbo, Let's get out of here, bro. Thank you for coming. I, like I said, I appreciate you. You were there for me at that very difficult time, even though you didn't know that at the time, but it was good to have someone to kind of go through those motions with you. So I always appreciate that. Of course, I'll do time. it again, bro. Yeah. And you guys, make sure this is the new YouTube channel. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. That's if it. you didn't like anything that we said on the podcast today, well, you can chat. Uh, to be honest, I didn't, actually, come, I didn't come for anybody this time. So usually, yeah. when yeah, they've yeah, had yeah. my podcast. One, one more thing before we go. I'm going to throw a promo code for all the Charge It fans. You can get 10% of tickets to the event with the code CITTG10. Oh, so that's 10% off cool. with CITTG10. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. We're going to clip that up. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. We need to talk about back end. <laughs> You know, you bring it for the back end. You know? <laughs> Thank I you for listening, guys. No worries. As in money, really. Yeah. That's what I asked you for.